I hope you're doing well, doing well, doing well. I myself am a little bit tired, but that's because I had a massive sleep in and nearly overslept. I needed it, to be honest. We had the family over last weekend, as most of you guys know. Um, but all went well. Now, be aware, we do have a party yesterday. We have Rulo in the chat with us. You okay, Rulo? Hello. Oh, fair. It's alright, don't you worry. Bruno's currently doing some reading at the moment, so... <laughs> oh, it's a good thing I actually remember to put the game sound on to the actual chat screen. So you can actually join me on the <laughs> chat screen group. <laughs> oh. Okay. So, um... Me and Bruno are going to take a step in his, uh his direction as it were uh he's going to be joining me more on chatting on my stream and i'm going to be joining him chatting in more on his stream i uh, haven't finalized it yet but we're looking forward to good things for rudo aren't we dude hopefully <laughs> so have you decided oh let me turn down pretzel so we can actually chat a bit more have you decided on uh, what you're w wanting to stream a bit more of than, say, DVD? Because I know you're having trouble with DVD. Um, no, not really. The DVD is like the only real one I can think of that I want to actually stream, but obviously the lagginess of me streaming it does put me off of it. Mm. <clears throat> Uh, I, I, I can play Survivor more or less fine on that. I do get a little bit laggy sometimes. Sometimes it's way worse than other games. But for the most part, it's it's alright as long as I don't stream too long. Ah, uh, I, don't you worry, I do like the idea of streaming through small little indie games or something. And I do like the idea of streaming more of... Uh, Killing Floor 2, but I'm not super into that at the moment. No, oh, understandable. You can get too much of a thing all in one go, can't you? But the indie, yeah. indie games is a good idea. Um, I suggest the fact that if anybody has any suggestions for indie games, you send Runo a whisper or send me a message on Discord or something and I'll get them relayed to him. You know, because there's thousands of indie games out there. <laughs> mm. Oh dear, oh dear. So, anybody in the chat yet? Let's actually have a look. I have got my mod page up. No. Oh no, there is. There's the usual lurkers. Love to the lurkers, everybody. Oh. I'm being a bit loud again. Yes, I am. <laughs> Turn that down. There we go. Yes, love to those lurkers. We are all up and running by the looks of it. Yes, as you can see, uh, Chappies, our last flo follower was uh, Horror Goes Killing. Yeah, let's do a little... There we go, a little shower. Oh, thank you for the follow. And with that, we'll get on to the game. Perhaps always asleep. Here we are, yes, chappies. We are back on the control. It is still Spooktober, so we'll still be playing this. Oh, let me change my. Yeah, I am on the right setup, so nothing gets covered up for you, chappies. Now, Runo, I know you don't know much about control, but I know you know a hell of a lot about SEPs. <laughs> <laughs> It's possible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, SCPs are... Sorry, uh, Control is literally like the SCP universe. Slightly different. Uh, oh. Yeah, shall I just put it in the controls? There we go. Now, which mission were we on? We were on the mission where... Well, we were deciding whether or not to go to my brother's keepers which is the mission where we actually go and find jesse's brother who's the main character out of control dylan is the one which was kidnapped after the projector yeah a projector 
incidents in their hometown. Or we could go to go and do Old Growth, where Jesse learns that the active threshold below uh, central research and research name uh, and the researcher named Doctor Underhill is working there. I believe that's the mold uh, mission line. And also a matter of time, uh, Jesse finds a wounded ranger named Horowitz in the logistics lobby. He asks Jesse to go in and find the squ his squad mate, Wells. Uh, Wells is the medic, I believe. Uh, and that is actually where we go and find the item known as the clock. Which one do you reckon we should go and do, chappies? I mean, we could carry on with the main missions or do a bit of side missions. What do you want? There we go. What do you reckon, Rune? I don't know. You don't know. There's so many things to do. <clears throat> uh, I, wonder, I am curious what the clock does. The clock is a good one. We can go do the clock. Even Lucifer said at the end of last stream, oh no, not the clock. I goes, yes, the clock. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's behind us. So, oh, I've got to stop using the B button to try and get out a map. The B button is not back in this game. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Oh. What I gotta do is get rid of that blowing orby thingy because that is actually a shield boost for these chaps. It's not. Yeah. yeah, the uh, orbies don't have a snapping. Oh no, here comes the reinforcements. I said this is what the problem. Oh no. I got stuck. Run. Out of the way, get the higher ground. Go through the offices and try and get up on the back of the Orby. Oh, the Orby's teleported away. Where did it go? I saw the, uh, saw the blink. They corner me in the office if I'm not careful. It's gone in the middle of them. I'm not following it up, up there. No, I just get killed. Let's get high mm. ground and get it that way. Oh, I got stuck on something there. There it is. There it is. Oh, they teleported away, and I've got a sn no. Stop fighting the auto aim. There we go. Yes, I think that was it. Was it? Oh, grenade. Oh no, it's it does look like it had a little sliver of health left. Well, it looks like that they have not got their pluses, so we're going to go with the long shot. I know this is a pulse rifle, but it's powerful as F. I didn't have enough 
a funny G40. Oh. <laughs> oh, a pulse rifle worked for a second, isn't it? There you go. Not really a pulse rifle, sorry. Fusion rifle, as you would call it. Charge rifle, as some people would call it. Now, there's still one about, I can hear him. There he is. There you go. Die. Thank you. Combat music over. We're cool. Uh, traverse to the overview motel. Now, where... I can hear Polaris somewhere. What is the actual storyline behind all these soldiers invading, what is it, the old house? Um, <coughs> basically the Hist is another entity, uh, well not entity, another power of uh, some sorts um, that has taken over or invaded the actual um, occupants of the old house. There was kind of an incident. I'm trying not to go into too much details on it because it might spoil it for some people. Um, oh shit! See, so are you killing the old house personnel right now? That yes, these are, are the are old house personnel which are being possessed. Uh, but we do not know of a way to turn them back. How uh, we do not know of a way to get the hiss out of them. So, as far no, that's really as sad. yeah, as far as the American way goes. Um, <laughs> You know, kill him. There's nothing we can do for him. Kill him. Uh, I've lost Polaris. Uh, okay, apparently she is back in the main hall. Oh, great. You would have seen that uh, it's all being present where the other source of the possessions and destroying them would release everyone locally. Hmm. These are suicidals, is the best way of putting it. You remember the suicidals as I called them from Best Big. Mm -hmm. They're all floating about by the looks of it. I don't actually know they're floating. I know the game looks bleached out, but that's actually the way it's supposed to look. It's a filter which is over the game. I mean, I, most people on PC do actually install an EMB which will change the graphics. So you don't get all this wispy nuts about the place. That's the weird thing about games that seem to choose to put an, a, a filter overlay over their game. Most of the time it just looks better without it. Yeah, it's true. I mean, take Resident Evil 5, for example. They put that horrible green filter over the game. And someone actually went and removed that. And the, the game actually looked really good for a game that was that old. I don't actually know when that came out. A majority of the time they... <laughs> People actually put stuff over the top of their games like this because they feel that it doesn't look good. Uh, or, you know, or they did one character wrong, or they did one scene wrong, and they're like, oh, now the whole entire game's got to have it. Mm. Where on earth am I supposed to be going? It just popped up zero gravity. I don't know if that was on the stream or not. That is the uh, intro fighters. Oh, okay. Basically, if, I tell, if, if someone tries in chat, they get a little emoji that pops onto the screen, and the emojis actually fight each other. <sighs> yeah, to be honest, I really shouldn't have it on the game screen. <laughs> <laughs> It is kind of disconcerting. <laughs> you just it, like you'd be in combat, and then there's just two little characters jumping about on the screen, drawing your eye. Okay, uh, I'll go into editor, and uh, um, I won't get rid of it. 
what I'll do oh. is I'll just turn it invisible. There we go. There we go. Actually live. There we go. <laughs> That's even creepier though. If we knew that they're still there, but we just can't see them. <laughs> okay. Uh... <laughs> we are trying to make it to... It just tells us about his squad mate. That's all. Um, he was near a shelter. Um, and now Polaris is shut up as well. I can't hear her. Okay, she's definitely in this direction then. Not a door. It's a women's bathroom. The mission highlight is literally just in the central hall. Um, the place where we actually find the mission uh, would be written in yellow. It says logistics. There's nothing written in the actual mission. We have to go to the motel, which means we have to find a light switch. Uh, one of those pull-down cord light switches. I remember seeing one last stream, and I said we'll come back to that. So I was searching the offices. Here's, yeah, here's the actual dude we got the mission from. Ah, there it is. Poor mutilated man on the corner. Yeah, that's the Is he still that, alive? Yes, he's still alive. That's the dude that gave us the mission. Uh, How come he's not possessed? We don't know. They were they were currently on a mission uh, to... What was it again? They were... Uh, where were they going? Uh, found a wounded ranger named Hulwitz in the logistics lobby. They were currently in uh another i hate to say dimension but basically dimension when all this kicks off. <laughs> him and his mate wells were on a patrol uh just standard patrol you know boring as shit and uh, this all kicked off they came back he got injured uh wells ended up getting teleported back to the other dimension and uh, Jesse just makes it, makes uh, just tell, tells him you need a medic, and uh, How Howitz uh, Hornwitz, sorry, turns around and says Wells was the medic. <laughs> oh, As, are you supposed to be going into the other dimension to save him? Yes, I'm supposed to be going into the hotel to save him. Um, oh, it's always hotel. Motel, hotel. There we go. It's a little hotel subspace with an infinite hotel. Can I get... You don't... No, I don't think I can get them both in there. Can I? I think, I think the creepiest instances of uh, alternate subspaces, such slash dimensions, is when you don't actually know you entered one. Mm. Such as the infinite Ikea from SCPs. Oh, the infinite Ikea and their blooming um, staff members. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I I don't find the infiniteness of the IKEA creepy. I don't find the staff members creepy. I find it the, creepy the fact that you could be in in this IKEA, and then just randomly happen upon the dimension and not actually realize it. Mm -hmm. Okay, you are right. And I just oh, that, that was a clip. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? Accidental clips. Surprised it even lets you clip stuff while you're streaming. Well, I'm using a capture card, aren't I? So. Oh yeah. I, uh, the X, as far as the Xbox is concerned, I'm just playing the Xbox. One, <laughs> two, three. The rule of three. This is the inside of that motel I was talking to you about. Three main doors. Oh. 
So turning off the lights teleported you here. Yes. Hopefully doing it can get you back. So this is an infinite hotel slash motel. This is the motel, yeah. Why are these subspaces always infinite? Mm. It, it, it doesn't matter what it is, it could be the uh, the infinite IKEA, it could be this, it could be the back rooms. <laughs> They're all infinite, according to their actual source. Okay, check the rooms. So we got 23, 22, 24, 25, 26, 27, and the casino. Yeah. Hello, clock. That's how we know the clock's about one. Two. It's just the clock. Three. It's not the clock. It's a representation of the clock. Which door did open? This door did open. It's another representation of the clock. I like the fact that Jesse is reflected in the clock face. Mm. <clears throat> okay, uh, what did the clock say? What did the clock say? I was about to do that. The best thing about having a character with telekinesis is the fact that you don't need to animate the <laughs> hand animations on them doing puzzles like that. You can just say, oh yeah, no, they're doing it with their mind. Okay. I assume what we've got to do is match the clock faces with the time. Check time. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. No, okay. We're going to have to be quick about that. I think what we've got to do is match the time with the clock on here, on the desk, with the ones in a room. Okay, that'll be easy, but it's all about the timing, that's the problem. Okay. Nope, too early. Was it? Nope, I think that's right. Is that right? Let's go check. Yes, that's right. Okay, cool. We've got middle one's correct. Middle one's done. Okay. Uh, this one is five, six, I'd say seven past, wouldn't you say? Hello, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, It must, they must have done it so the fact that we get a little bit of wee leeway now because there's no way it was <laughs> done that accurate. There's no way. Okay, last room. Okay, coming up to half past 12. Yeah, I don't want it uploaded because I wasn't meant to take a look. Mm. Yes, done it. Okay, okay, okay. Um, 
Oh. Hey, we got the key room. R room key, sorry. Thank you. Thank you, Motel. It's usually the upside down black pyramid. E. What? Take another photo. Oops. There we go. Got to make sure the square is. There we go. Okay. Hide you well. And capture screenshot. There we go. Sorry, I know I keep taking all these photos and everything, but they'll come in handy. Later. One, two, three. <gasps> this Wells guy can't be far. Okay. Sealed door, sealed door. Sealed door. Okay, we've got to jump down. Oh no, I don't like that. I don't have levitate yet. So. Uh oh. Uh, uh No, I don't. I don't have time for that. Plus, we're in another dimension. Yep, yeah, here we go. Ah! Clocks. Those must be the clocks he was talking about. Yes, the ever duplicating clock. Oh, it's d it duplicates, does it? Yes. Uh, I don't think I have the actual info on it yet. We will. We will. That could probably that probably means that this clock and the dimension are actually two different things, and they just threw the clock in the dimension so that it wouldn't fucking crowd the entire. Oh yes, most definitely. Yeah, it probably is meant to be the, uh, a containment procedure. You are correct. Yeah, the dimension and clocks are both different instances of power or whatever they're called. I believe the uh, clock has more power than just duplication. I just think duplication of the clock is a side effect of its power. Yeah. Uh, can't remember off the top of my head. Okay, is there any more about? Because I won't be able to cleanse it whilst they're about. Not that I can hear. Okay. Control point captured. There's got to be some info about the place. Let's go have a look. There's another clock. Is that the actual clock? Because it has been cornered off. They literally cornered it off. I'm not going to touch it if it's the actual clock. Why no did they keep the actual clock in such a strange position there? Mm. The question is, is, does the duplication only occur on the original clock, or does it occur on every clock that it creates? Oh god, imagine if it did on every copy. What, is there a tent here? Okay. Okay then. Yeah, this is definitely not part of the actual uh, original old house. This is an extension of the old house. Definitely. They wouldn't have camping gear. Oh, more clocks. I think these were probably original instances which they started cornering off and then eventually there were so many that they just fucked them all in that hole. <clears throat> Hello. Can I X with you? Thank you. Are you Wells? Your friend asked me to come looking for you. That must be Horowitz. Glad he got out. 
I stayed back to help the others. Did a shit job of it, clearly. You tried. That's enough. Horowitz needs your help now. How do we get out of here? We should head back through the threshold. We can look for other survivors as we go. We better hurry. Which way? Just follow the blood. <laughs> Let's go. Great. No, you go. I still got the rest of this place to explore. We need to get information about this bloody clock. I really should turn sprint into a toggle, not a press. That's annoying. I don't have access to level 9, matey, so you're going to have to open all the doors. Okay. What's with the clocks? Threshold effect. This used to be a regular office wing before the threshold manifested. The forces at play in there got a hold of someone's old clock and started duplicating it. Now the office is abandoned and it's clocks all the way down. Oh yeah, this is where the office romance comes along. What What is the threshold? The threshold is the uh, doorway between the dimensions. The event horizon as it were. So it's the source of the old house? You could call it the walls of the old house, probably. It's certainly not the source. The source actually comes from the uh, uh, bureau uh, or the management of uh, the, the basically the black upside down pyramid. Uh. Yeah. We are still early on in the game we will get to know more of this do not worry <laughs> so these are uh, two of uh, dr what you call it's his uh, assistants we don't really need to stand here and watch all of that <laughs> it will be in the archives if we really want to watch it Okay. Oh dear. Yeah, have a clock. Have a clock. Have a clock. Yeah, have a grenade. Have a grenade. Yeah, have a grenade. Very much so. I think if Jessie was to be in um, Destiny, she would be definitely in the Oh yeah, for sure. What type of warlock? I'm not entirely sure, but I, no. probably, I wouldn't... I, je I don't think she'd be a sunset. I think she'd actually be a void walker. I could definitely picture her floating about, but I could also picture her blinking. Well, that's fitting, to be honest. Because, you know, she does deal with the void in dimensional space, a.k.a. you know, the old house. Mm. That's so many clocks. There you go. <laughs> As the dude said, it's clocks the whole way down. Uh, if I remember rightly, there is supposed to be... I, there's no way in hell you'd be able to climb that that easily. <laughs> no. Okay, we've got more dudes. Okay, let's go back to Hellcar, dude. I know he's not really supposed to die, but still. Mr. Dude, what are you shooting at? Oh, that dude. I would not want to use these clocks to suppress my fall. Careful, my dude. I know you want to go that way, but I'm going to go up here. Oh, apparently it is not here. We have to go up here. Where is he? Open the gate for Wells. That's what I was actually mainly after this. There we go. Plonk. What's this? Oh. It's a lot like the inside collectibles. 
You just pull something out of it and it doesn't give you any context. Case files, wasn't it? Yes. Um, home safe. No, we did that. That's the light box. Fans. Fan. Oh, God. The fan. Mannequin. Uh, post box. No, we haven't picked up anything for the plot yet. Damn it. We will. How do I open the door for you, mister? Oh, I hear. The. That's O'Neill. Shit. No one else got out. Oh, the ticking. Not the ticking. Okay, apparently, there is a way into there. Um. Sealed off. Oh god. Just go climbing on the desk and going through the hole. Yeah, RL, yeah, easy peasy, you know. Oh, there's one of those orbies about, yeah. Okay, switching. Switching. Am I on my. Yeah, there's a little These dudes are effectively taken. Yes. Yep. Good description, mate. Very good description. Oh, bloody heck. Sorry, did not know there was somebody over there. Do you mind? Watch where you're shooting. You're worse than a Fallout 1 companion. And that's <laughs> saying something. Is he actually hurt? I, I got vibrations from the impact, and that's as much as I know, and that's as much as I want to know, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, okay, the orb's gone, the orb's gone, the orb's gone. Oh, I forgot. I got shield now. Fucking bastards get possessed by one force and then turned by another force. I know it cray cray. No, I think it's not. okay. We're cool. We're cool. Okay, nothing else about. No, no other. No, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go back up. See if there wasn't a second way. Jump up here. That was both sealed. No, it just leads into the one room, doesn't it? Yes. Okay, that's cool. Because there is something on that table. See? Oh, it's a radio. There you go. I embedded it in the wall and it no longer works. Oh dear! <laughs> oh well. Uh, mister! Ah, oh, you're worse than a Skyrim flipping companion and that's saying something! Oh. No Orby, so we're good, we're good, we're good. Save you wanna be. Right. There you throw things 
at me. They just, just wanted to dodge those, didn't they? It's almost like they knew that people would try to throw things back at him to get revenge. Okay, I see another video projector over there. Ooh. So many clocks. Okay, he is the junior supervisor. Ooh, I, can't, I can't read all of that. In other words, he's a named enemy, so we, we, we're gonna do it with him. Ah, oh, damn it. My hands are sweaty now. It's right, we haven't lost much. We haven't lost much, and I keep headbutting my microphone again. Mm -hmm. That loading screen kind of looks at my background. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Hello. Let's go. Yeah, we will. Uh, this way. Come on. <laughs> Open the door. Bold of him to call out, let's go, and then confidently go the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, we go. But let's take this with us. Who needs a phone for mobile video? Die! Not me, them. I wanted to draw the suiciders to the bowl, uh, to the... It worked, didn't it? It was messy, but it worked. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Num 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 num. Back head to pull out there. we go. <laughs> Yeah, um, there was a uh, rumor at one point that one of the clocks in one of the piles was actually glitchy, um, causing your game to crash, and people what? actually went through all the clocks, picking them up and all that stuff, to try and find out which one did it. And I don't know the results, I never heard the results. They're so dedicated. You are talking about Alan Wake and Quantum Break fans here, so yeah, they would be dedicated. So, so when it comes to the static piles of clocks you can stand on, you can actually pull out individual clocks here? Yeah. I wonder if that creates a new instance of a clock, you know, not like like duplication wise, like actually. But it does look like it's actually taking from the pile. I think what happens is every time you take an item, uh, you, you highlight an item, say this, and it changes the pool of items in which you can pick up. Uh, like, say, I take this box and then the box underneath it now becomes selectable. Whereas mm. previously you couldn't uh, select the box underneath it. Yeah, like that one's not selectable at the moment, but if I was to take that... Okay, that's... no. That... that didn't work. But yeah. Because <laughs> I can even take chunks from the actual building. Oh, no, that was, a, that was an air conditioning unit. Sorry, office workers. Grenade! But you can. Oh, too many clocks about. You can at times take chunks from the building, a la um, uh, the uh, uh, um, Australian lobby sequence from um, what's that movie? Keanu Reeves. You are the one, Neo. Blah 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 blah. Uh, that thing. 
Not sure if I'm familiar with that. Where's... I'm gonna have to go up there, aren't I? Uh, where's the actual... Oh. Not here, okay. There's the other one. Heavy. Unfortunately, there are often in games where you can convert enemies. The actual scaling between your health and theirs is mm. pretty off, and also their damage and your damage. So when you convert them, they're still doing damage that would hurt a player, but it, it, it barely touches the other enemies. <laughs> I would still say though that the actual utility of having an, another enemy that, well, another ally that uh, every enemy is aiming at is still worth oh, yeah. converting stuff, even if they don't actually do damage. Yeah, no. To act as a tra distraction piece, as long as you don't rely on them, you are 100% correct there, mate. Yeah, don't rely on them, just use them as a distraction piece. That safe room is where the old died cornered us. We sealed the door on the way out. We couldn't let it get out into the bureau. Okay, so you're I'll saying to come we... deal with that altered item later. Yeah. If I open the safe room now, Wells could get hurt. Yeah, okay. Check note. Remember, come back for the clock later. The actual original clock. The original clock is in that safe room. That's what Wells just said. The actual altered item is in the safe room. There's too many blue orbs. I wish I had the ability to convert the blue orbs into materials, but I don't. Not yet. I would guess, then, that the actual clock duplicates aren't actually anomalous, as it were. That's a good thing. As I said before, if, the, if every single cock duplicate had the anomalous properties of the original, then fuck. Mm. This, these piles would be even bigger. Uh, I don't... No, it's true, it's true. <laughs> I still... There wouldn't even be a room to go into. <laughs> Case file. Refrigerator. Oh my god. I thought, no, no, we haven't dealt with the refrigerator. No, we haven't dealt with the refrigerator. I think I know the refrigerator. The refrigerator is scary. Just like the mannequin. <clears throat> yes, I think that's it. I think we've been through all of it. Yeah, okay. Cool, cool, cool. No way would the physics actually look like that. No way would I be able to no. run through that like it's bubbles. <laughs> no. We got out, but his were waiting for us. I took Harwoods to the motel court and went back for the others. That was brave of you. I'm the medic. It's my job. 
just double checking for things. Sometimes there's those stash boxes in the bathrooms. Okay, the actual stalls themselves. Which is annoying. See, look, the exit signs have turned green now. That's weird. I point this, pointed it out whilst we uh, first started control that the exit signs on the main doors were red. And that's because they were in New York. There's legislations in some areas of America where uh, the exit signs have to be red mm. instead of green. But as we can clearly see, the exit signs are now green, which means we are no longer in New York. Well, the old house, I'm assuming, is a sort of warped space which yeah. bends across all the world, so... But would you really think that the old house would care about New York legislations for health and safety? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but I would assume that if it should... If the old house would manifest in, say, Beijing, then all of the signs around the place would be in Chinese. I think it. I, I think it knows where it is. <laughs> I think it does somehow know. I mean, social, you know, so, uh, human human stuff. I couldn't read what which one we had picked up. No, we didn't. If it manifested in uh, Australia, then everyone would be walking on the ceiling, etc., etc. I get which way? Which way? So I actually wouldn't be surprised if that happened in the old house. How does the old house know what which way round gravity is supposed to go? There's probably some warped space there that you walk on the fucking walls or something. We're almost out of the threshold. All I say, Rune, is the ashtray maze. The what? The ashtray ash maze. maze. The best level ever created in the early 2010s. Absolutely fucking phenomenal level. It's bloody brilliant. Devil? The oh, level. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Everybody loves this level. The Astray Mage is, Maze is great. That from this game? That's from this game. I've been there once already, but you can't actually activate the Astray Level Maze until a certain point in the game. I won't offer any spoilers, of course. But uh, mm. yeah, I actually know where it is. I've uh, unlocked the path to it. Um, but yeah. Because first time you go into the ashtray maze, you can't actually go through it properly because you don't have, let's say, the key uh, to do it. Mm. But, oh, okay. Yeah, worse than a stormtrooper. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, he can't fast travel, so I have to take him the uh, old way. Okay, I I I saw hissed smoke there. Did they get behind us? No. Okay, weird. Uh, there's another altered area. I think I'm hungry. Oh dear. You go get some Why is it all there. red? Uh, that's because the uh, hist is occupying the control point which is in there. We haven't actually been there yet, so... If... Where are we? The transit corridor south. Yes, we definitely haven't been there yet. We have definitely not been to the turntable yet. Yeah. Are you still in that alternate hotel dimension or did it take you back? The alternate uh, 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 hotel dimension is a uh, crossroads. Crossroads, it yeah. It enables you to actually get through two different parts of the um, 
the void, uh, the uh, um, I'm losing my term. Yeah, the subspace. <laughs> <laughs> there are basically there are four main areas of the old house. Um, I'll be able to show you them, uh, all the list of them once we get to the elevator. But essentially, uh, you have the executive suite, the maintenance, the uh, research, the uh, archives, and you know different main areas like that, which are then subdivided. Uh, you have to get through the main to the main departments using. I'll oh, go to the combat music so that. Um, the elevator from executive. But to actually get through the subdivisions, you actually have to go through the void. Um, mm. okay. Admittedly, you would just walk there, but because the hiss has intersected it, the bureau, or the people in the Black Pyramid, are allowing us to use the motel to actually get to the different departments. Usually, you would only use the motel to reach the hotline, which is the way to communicate with the bureau. AKA, the director is the only person who's allowed to go through it. Is the bureau a sentient black triangle thing? The bureau, I would say, is the entity, the actual, um, the actual entity in charge of the old house. Um, yeah, they are sentient, and they are represented by the black triangle. Yeah. The this game would so side. do it, it could Our so benefit, oh, this universe would so benefit from a um, non Euclidean geometry physics. Which is essentially just like you, you go through a door, you enter a room, and in the room is another door which leads you back to the space that you entered the door in the first place, but that space is different now. <laughs> And it's, there's no loading screen, it's all fluid. Mm. Or you enter a room, uh, 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 you know, a, a, say two by two set of rooms. Yeah. But every time you enter, say, the room on the left, the room to the left of that is a new room. And you can just keep spiraling and spiraling and spiraling. And you never actually end up in the same rooms if you keep going to the left. And you, and you, can, you have to go back to the right. I think. That, that is the concept of the never ending uh, motel slash hotel. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the whole one aware, the fact that it will never become full because everybody is always constantly transferring to the next room. So it's never full. You get, you, if you get a. Uh, new uh booking come in you would transfer two to three three to four four to five 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 six six and seven and so they're constantly transferring so the hotel never actually truly ever runs out of room <laughs> mm. yeah. which is why i think they actually use the motel in both alan week and control there we go. Mm. in way, the so they actually Sorry. Do they actually use it as sleeping spaces for the personnel? Um, not to my knowledge. Not to my knowledge. <laughs> there we Let's go. go. Escort walks to Howlwitz. Howlwitz is just literally over there. Why do I have to escort him? Hold on. Something's wrong with him. Shit. There we go. Horowitz. Oh dear, is he being possessed? Mm-hmm. He's being turned. He's a boss now. Well, that means that the medic dude you just took into this uh, back here is not safe either. No, none of them are safe. He's the only totally... people who were safe on the hiss were the people who were wearing those black discs on their chest. 
Are you running that? Oh, and TSC, of course. Because we always made her the director. Oh, she's actually like the leader of the old oh, house. Yeah. That grabs her immunity from position, I guess. That's so weird. Well, um. The actual being directed does not grant her as immunity from being, um. The hiss. It's Polaris who grants her the immunity from possession. Um. So many entities helping her out. I'm only using the word entity loosely because I don't know what else to bloody well call them, if you know what I mean. <laughs> He's okay. Well, Snows, it's the job. I'll wait until he gets to the safe room first. Then we'll talk to him. I'm sorry about your friend. Thanks. And thanks for coming to get me. Horowitz's HRA must have been damaged in the threshold. <laughs> Guy never put himself first. At least the anchor altered item is still locked away down in the box. I hope it rots down there. That altered item needs to be dealt with before it hurts anyone else. Mm -hmm. I should go back down and contain it. Mm -hmm. Head to the executive sector, Wells. Are they on about Please the clock? Back. Thank you, Director. I'll they are certainly on about one of there. the altered items. I don't know which one they're on about. Now we can actually get in here. Oh, we've already been in here, sorry. Okay. New mission, the enemy within. Investigate the safe room. Oh yeah, the safe room in the clock section. Shall we go and do that, yeah? Hello? Sure. Okay. Yeah. I think I need to go and be a beaver. I need to go and be right because I need to get a drink because I'm dehydrated as anything because it's warm in here. Mm. But I don't have garlic phone, so we're gonna have to do the old fashioned BRB. Okay, chappies. I shall kick us on the be right back screen and I shall play a few shout outs for you, okay? I'll talk to you a bit rude though. Uh well uh game sound is not on the be right but RB screen so they won't be able to hear you. So you're okay, mate. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Should have expected that. Oh my god, we're back again! What just happened there? Oh, I lost her lock. Excellent by we gained lock. Firing an assassin. What's the volley's like your favorite thing to do now? The assassin. Yeah, I'm firing on it. It's dead. How not to do it. I didn't say Simon says. Now, Simon says, step on three lit platforms. Back in your mouth, buddy, you white sting. <laughs> oh, I love the fun that it actually seems that like it. Fantastic. You can't see that one properly. Here's some joy. You can never have too it? much joy.
Look at this motherfucking sushi, baby. Oh, oh, oh! oh my Crap, that sucks. Oh, come on. Big break right there. Come on, big break. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. What is up? Oh, whoo, whoo, that was close. Jesus. Sail for old England, but we hoped in a short time to see you again. We'll rant and we'll roar like true British sailors. We'll rant and we'll roar all on the salt seas until we strike soundings in the channel of old England. From Ashen to Silly, it's 35 leagues. We hove Yay. our ship to. With the oh, oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, dear. You're close to the end of the main part of the game? Yeah, Bowser's the next world up there. Well, I have to be a few levels to get to him, but... But what? So this is world what? <clears throat> this is six. You're in six. Oops, I did that last time. Aiden says, uh, Hufflepuff suits her as much as... Uh, I think Hufflepuff suits her, suits me as much, she says, as I really wanted to be a... I tried to make a moment for you, robot. It didn't work. I like me, boss, and I cannot lie. You other girls can't deny. When a bard walks in with a itty bitty loot in your ring, then your face, you, your strings get strong. When I pull up, up, then I notice that bard was stuck. Deep in the lusty. Lusty <laughs> up. Okay. So many clothes. Uh, wow. Food. Okay. Yeah, I guess. Then. Somebody be the. La la la. <laughs> what, what is this? Jesus. Conte in her jump scares. <laughs> Okay, we're back, everybody. We're back. There we go. Rune's still getting himself some munch. And I don't blame him. I feel like I'm munching all the whole time. We have get got to get back to the shield the sealed threshold. Which means we've gotta go back through the logistics. Back through that corridor. Okay. <laughs> Stop doing that. 
We want fresh hog kids. Give us more fresh hog kids. Really have to stay and fight these blighters. It's annoying. what you get for not having any money now. my flow because that air vent flipping stopped me from jumping over the rail. That gun needs a better charge time. Okay, we're going to have to... Uh... Oh. Okay, we checkpointed, but... Worked in our advantage. Uh, that's the bathrooms. Okay, I still hear somebody. This is the safe room Well showed me. It's open. The one with the altered item inside. Uh oh, it's open. to wait for Rune to get back I think let's get this threshold account uh, threshold uh, management respected threshold 9D summary threshold with effect redacted uh, manifested in the containment sector in the middle of the redacted department simultaneously numerous redacted appeared in the area injuring and killing many redacted after rescue operations were completed and redacted Rangers were sent to discover the threshold ex e e epicenter. Sorry, the sheer amount of redacted made the expedition impossible. The area was sealed off after removing the clocks pr 
provided an impossible task. Uh, the department was relocated and the area abandoned. Researchers theorized the threshold introducing unstable matter to our dimension, which adopted the form of the redacted, redacted as redacted when introduced to more stable redacted. Refer to file 9-51-3981 for full report. So there you go, Rulo. Basically, the altered item appeared in here and duplicated. Uh, basically, the clocks got out of control and so they abandoned the department and sealed it off. me I do apologize that is so rude oh yes there we go which one we're working on the normal shot okay I don't need an accuracy boost on that one Do we have a corrected reload speed? Okay. A shatter spin grip. And a cost pose shot. Rate of fire. We don't need a better rate of fire on that. We don't need accuracy. Might need energy gain from headshots. astral plane. Similar to an iceberg, what you see is not what you always get. Regardless, this place is vitally important to the Bureau. Most information on the astral plane is, is classified, but we can talk in broad strokes, keeping in mind that these are staggeringly complex systems, and simplification does them no justice. Now, the white non-space, the ever-present inverted black pyramid, the board, all linked, intrinsically tied to the oldest house, tied to the director, the process of choosing a director, tied to all objects of power in terms of who controls them. Yes. An early hypothesis was that the mindscape of the astral plane is subjective, but that was fast proven wrong. It's an actual place, not, not a construct of the mind, even though it is with our minds that we enter and experience it. But then one could argue that that's the case with all reality. 
We've been able to record footage of the astral plane by monitoring the brain activity of those experiencing it. That is the only concrete material that has come out of the astral plane expeditions. Uh, apart from one shocking exception. In the astral plane footage, we're always in the vicinity of the pyramid. We've concluded that this, not the entire plane, is what the board controls. We have glimpsed movement, native species, always in the distance, and yet contact was made. We don't have footage of this, a technical malfunction, but when one of our astral knots returned, a brain cloud, an astral fugue, had hitchhiked a ride in his head. It ruptured out, killing the subject in question. It's a mm. relentless predator, pursuing thoughts, minds, lethal to those the entity feeds on. Proper containment protocols are to be observed when dealing with it. Hello. Hello. Hello, you're right. There are areas in the old house where I got the cereal. Dimensions. When the frequencies match, other dimensions leak in. We call these areas thresholds. I just go through the videos. The quarry is one of the more stable thresholds in the main mm. sector. That's that's where black rock comes from. Extra dimensional matter. It has the unique property of blocking out a lot of frequencies. A, a good thing. It keeps things stable, contained. Think of it as paranatural lead. Our research involves many dangerous things we absolutely need to keep in check. That's what the Black Rock Line fire breaks are about. The panopticon container uh, cells. Sorry to interrupt, sir, but I need the code for the quarry elevator. Oh, uh, Emily. The codes. Black Rock 665. <laughs> Neighbor of the Beast. Uh huh. Dia. Get it? We can do that again if you. And that's how we get the elevator code for Black Rock. <laughs> uh, we shall go through the rest in a bit. Basically, we just got here. Back to the shelter in the clock section. We found it open. It's, it's closing automatically now because, you know, we walked back around. And I walked mm. in there and found a folder on these bunk beds, which kind of... Answer one question on that. Uh, what was the folder again? Uh, it was a case file on. Uh, what was it? I can't remember what it was. I will recognize it by the redactions. Where is it? I read it out. I did read it out. <laughs> no, it wasn't a case file then. Uh, I can't. It's fine. Don't worry. Uh, it was interesting because it was actually... Oh yes, here we go, yes. Threshold Management uh, Retrospective Summary. Uh, it's basically explaining what happened in this department. Um, the clock started duplicating. It proved impossible to remove the clock, so basically they just abandoned the department, sealed it up, mm. and uh, relocated somewhere else. Yeah. Oh, there were a lot of redactions in there. <laughs> Great. More clocks. <laughs> yes, Jesse. More clocks. Of all those clocks, they could probably have an infinite fuel source. <laughs> mm. Here we go. Here we go. Affected old house. You can see the architecture has gone all inky and doolally. Very vex orientated. Mm. I do not have float yet. Oh, as I said, I do not have float yet.
I thought she'd grapple. Yeah, I was ex hoping she would grapple. <clears throat> Don't mind that, everyone. That's just Daddy. Enemies. No? I don't know. This is the safe room Well showed me. The one with the altered item inside. Great. More clocks. Mm. Danger. High voltage. Let's actually look further up this time. No, she's not grappling. Okay, I don't think I'll be able to go through here until I actually get float. Oh dear. I'm actually well, really, to be honest, if you, even if you made it, you wouldn't be able to get up to the ledge above that. Okay, let's see. So, which mission shall we do instead? Old Grave, which is to do with the fungus, or my brother's keeper. Uh, the old Old Grave is another side mission, and my brother's keeper. Well, the fungus. Place. The fungus sounds interesting. We always like sentient evil plants. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to go to Central Research, a threshold below Central Research. So, your X. Oh, we got some ability points. Uh, yes. Nice. I don't even know how to melee. I don't, <laughs> don't know how to melee. <laughs> That's bad. Then again, I never get close enough to melee, you know? Mm. Not enough points. I have... How many points do I have now? One. Okay, that's all right then. Uh... Well, most, most of the time, melee buttons in games are either R, B, B, or right stick. Mm. And in very rare cases, X, but that's usually uh, uh, smash em up games. Mm. Increase the base weapon's damage, no. Constant shot, spin has a generous magazine. A spin is a spin is a good weapon. Yeah. Okay. And then we only have enough for the upgrade after that. Okay, let's do that then. Okay. Excellent. Apparently there is more though. I don't see any more. Why are you saying there's more? And we don't have anything for the construction of... Okay, so... Fast travel. Uh... We need to go to research. Out of that, please. I need to. <sighs> What's that? There we go. We are tracking old growth. Okay. Uh, I. Yeah. I think what will be best is if we go back to executive. Hello, man dog. Oh, you're on your lunch break. Okay. Don't you worry, man dog. You're perfectly fine. Thank you for you for coming in. Much appreciated you spend your uh, lunch break with me. Give Mandog a shout out. There we go. I remembered I didn't give you a shout out either, really. 
I'm going after those bastards who killed my good friend Sally And after yeah, I am done with them, they will feel real silly Who we? Who we indeed Oh dear, Bruno's playing the plague again Below central research. Okay, we need to go to research. All these references. There we go. Welcome back. Uh, research sector. There we go. Yeah, the elevator is how we're supposed to get through departments. Yes. But a lot of it is blocked off by the hiss, so we do have to go through the uh, motel. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I do not see below central research. We need to get right down to the bottom okay oh uh first things first uh we do have some more okay spin and i myself don't like the charge shot mainly because yeah rate of fire there we go because you literally have to charge it it's a powerful weapon, but I don't like it. Uh, there's... No, sorry, the piercer. There's the actual charge charge shot. Um, but we want the actual grip, because we upgraded that to level 2. Okay, there we go. We are currently on grip. Spinner, yep. Yeah. Okay. We need to go down. <laughs> Catch very short range on that. And we can increase that. Then. That's Whoa. Okay, we're cool. Hi. <laughs> you are the changer one. You were supposed to bring balance to the force. <laughs> there we go. 
<laughs> if I remember rightly, there is a little side room somewhere where you see the fungus, and I tried to go through it, but I ended up dying. Yes, 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 yes. Was it around here? It's Big Male's bathroom. No. Because this is a side mission, not a main mission, it's not going to really point it out for us. This is one of the things you're supposed to come to back and do after you finish the main mission. Uh, really said, let's go do it. I say, go, cool. okay. Relo's eating, so he's probably muted himself. I don't blame him for that. Oh, that's a radio. We already played that one. Already been here, but let's just double check. Yeah, already been. Ah, oh, yes, there it is. There's the fungus. Okay. Yep, we gotta go down. Luckily enough, we don't have to jump all the way down. There is areas where you can just platform. Why are there points on the wall? Oh, plants! Yeah, no, that's a thing which uh, they kind of like did in the uh, early 90s in America. In office buildings, they would kind of like try and make the place look... Uh, nicer whilst improving the quality of air by planting plants on the walls. I'm like, okay. Oh, that was a bit. I should have done the other way. Evade also breaks my fall as well, so I'm not going to break my neck. <laughs> Don't keep poison ivy locked up in there. I would be surprised. I would not be surprised, mate. There we go. Okay. Come in with style, crashing and burning. There we go. Orientate myself. Okay, we've ended up in another bathroom. Interesting. Okay, there's one of those uh, fuses here. Sorry, that looked like a TV. I thought it was a f another threshold, kids. Which we haven't come across, by the way. We haven't come across another threshold, kids, yet. I'm severely getting worried. Yes, see you again, matey. I'll probably still be on by the time you get back. We're, um, it, it, today is a Tuesday, so I will be running till later, so don't worry. No time limit today. So we're all good. See you later. You have a good one, okay? Let's do an actual proper Twitch shout out for Mandog, shall we? Bye, bye, my dog. You work well, okay? Do not stress. Okay. See the whole colour of the area and everything like that. We're no longer glowing white, it's all glowing yellow. Careful in there, man. Area's under quarantine. I wouldn't go in there without talking to Underhill first. Where Even is Underhill? You have? I still wouldn't go in. Where is Underhill? Is she in here? There she is. Excuse me. 
Are you lost? No. Is Runo here? Because this person has a brilliant accent. Oh! That freaked me out for a second. Minecraft does that quite a lot. Um, yeah. Good. Do you normally barge into people's private workspaces? She clearly doesn't know who she's talking to. She doesn't care. Shouldn't you be in a safe room? Why? Because of those his things the rangers keep going on about. Haven't you people sorted that out yet? The situation down here could spell doom for the Bureau. Mm -hmm. You mean this mold? Correct. Perhaps you could help me. I require samples of various mold strains, and the mold has made the environment far too dangerous for me to fetch them myself. Really? Mold samples? <coughs> I thought this could spell doom. It could, and it will, whoever you are. The mold is spreading. We need to find the source before it spreads too far. Any samples will do that? No. Samples of five unique strains, when blended properly, will allow you to travel deeper into the pit where I've pinpointed the approximate location of the source of the mold. Okay. So, what do these samples look like? Similar to the one on my table there. I've made a list of the samples I need, here. You'll find them throughout the threshold. I'll take a look. My name's Jesse, by the way. I'm sure Classic you... hiding of the hands. Mm. Okay, yeah, basically we have to collect a mold sample from every department throughout the old house. Have you worked at the FBC very long? Not long enough to understand their inane methodology. They want me to solve the mold, but how is one to solve anything when the basic molecular structure of this fungus is an utter enigma? Mm hmm. Oh, sorry, are you asking me? It's rhetorical. Mm. The Bureau wants to control, not comprehend. But to answer your question, I'm a seasoned threshold researcher that's been brought in on a provisional basis to resolve this matter. That's all you had to say. Hmm. What have you learned about the mold? Firstly, the term mold is a gross oversimplification mm -hmm. used only to ease communication. That said, the mold itself appears to be the product of complex microorganisms. They spin the mold, building structures like minuscule cities, swiftly colonizing our dimension, and the speed of these tiny engineers relative to their size simply staggering so it grows fast if you're not going to listen then why did you ask <laughs> so the mold is coming in from where we don't have a name for the threshold dimension the origin point has been identified but the density of the fungus makes it impossible to enter even if we could, I speculate that we would only find a reality entirely subsumed by the fungus. Total decomposition! It's weird how excited she is, right? What do you know about the Hiss? How could I know anything about an entity I've only just learned of? This is exactly the Bureau's problem. Mm. My work is always interrupted by these... these... superfluous matters. <laughs> Calm down. Just keep your HRA on and I'm sure you'll be fine. This crude thing. I thought it was Darling's idea of a practical joke. Not quite. Just keep your head down while I handle the hiss. There we go. I need to get going. Try so that's why she's safe. <clears throat> she's got the weird thing on her. <laughs> first let's take a photo of that weird fungus <laughs> along with the doctor and let's see let's build a view out zoom in physically you must do it all for me i am far too important to die yes exactly Plus, she's a British scientist by her accent. Lucifer. Hiya, how are you doing? <laughs> it's 
screenshot. Oh, I did a clip again. Oh. Oh no, and I'll quit the fucking camera. <laughs> oh dear. Oh God's sake. There we go. Hi all. Van Dog's just been in for his lunch break. Uh, Runo's actually chatting with me. You got it in at eight a.m. Oh dear. If I remember rightly, you you were around about. I, I actually no, I can't remember what time you actually went and started the job. Oh dear. Uh, uh, screenshot. There we go. There we go. Okay, so first things first, we've got some case files over here. Uh, they were for the mold threshold. Case files here. Threshold utility can whatever. Uh, got darts and have to leave at two. Had have to leave at two a.m. to go to Oxford for six p.m. start. Oh. 6 a.m. start, sorry. Oh, Oxford. My end of the, the country. Nice. Let's carry on then. Okay, so let's do a little bit of exploring this dimension. Even though I can't, I believe we can't actually do much until we get the mold samples. <sighs> Smells so sweet down here. Suddenly, I'm really hungry. I wonder how this mold tastes. These are the actual mods for enemies. I wonder what the actual nature of the mold is, other than it just getting everywhere, because it's clearly not toxic to breathe. Like shambling about. Ooh. No, we don't have time for that, mateys. Yeah, see what I mean by the fact that we do need float to get in through this lot. Oh dear. Yeah. So, but we still needed to come and pick up the mission where we go and pick up the actual. Part of the quest where we go pick up the to pick up the spores. Oh, so we got we got an idea. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But the explosive ones. I want to pick up the explosive pods. Not the office furniture, thank you. I mean, yeah, I could get across there, but there's no way I'm getting up. Not without flow. It's mm. alright. Plus they're heavy hitters. Uh, Brock's Avenue tomorrow. For it's odd, it's an early start. Always been an afternoon one. Oh, weird. They changed the time like that, mate. Very weird. Okay, we still got the mission. It's all right. We can we can start our brother's keeper then, because we can do the old growth as we go through the different departments. Go with the or oh, 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 my brother's keeper. Jesse goes to the containment sector to find the. I can't say that word. Where Dylan is held. Uh, research. I think it says perimeters. I'm not sure. Uh, let me get back on that then. Uh, 
can opt econ whatever that is pan pan panos i can't i can't actually read it because the uh, quality dimmens when you zoom in uh, uh let me actually magnify it Oh, uh, pan, panoptician? Panopticon? No idea what that actually is. That's totally a made-up word. <laughs> Probably. There we go, magnifier. Yeah. Containment. We have to make way to the containment. Panopticon. Yeah. There's Lucifer. Talking about Lucifer. <laughs> Free spankings, exactly. Oh. Free spankings. Oh dear. And we shall give you a Twitch shout out as well, just in case anybody pops in who very unlikely who isn't already so, um, following Lucifer. You're welcome. Yeah, no, we have to go through logistics all the way up. Really? subject um hello bits how are you doing let's give uh, a shout out to bits and craft yet another streamer in our community here mainly concentrates on art he also designs computer games as well sup sup Oh yeah, you're you were rapping about poop. Oh. We need a, a, a idea. I don't have any ideas. I'm super tired and stuff. <gasps> I want to make a story about a hitchhiker. The guy is on the road, and then he needs to poop, and he goes into to the forest, and he sees like a a giant toilet. Then he he go, he climbs the toilet. And he goes into the toilet zone. Uh, he goes into the toilet zone and... <laughs> yes, that's when Bits and Craft was uh, developing his latest game. Yes. Yes, I am slightly controlling the situation. It's not let me through control the situation apparently. I'm gonna have to find another way. The medical wing. Yeah, 
I think I need to go back to the charge shop. We don't have enough levels on the spin shooter. Yes, that's a good question. Good question. <laughs> I look like you. Like, what? What? I think he's on about your character. <laughs> Got lots of us here, we're willing to test it. I'm not level six yet, can't go through that. Oh, safe room. Okay. Oh, apparently, already been through here. Oh yeah, security centre. Yeah, yeah, no, we have been through here. Yeah, no. I'll give it a go. I was willing to earlier when you told me not to because you had that oh, which you needed to sort of add. I genuinely do not know how to get up to where we're supposed to get to. Do we have to go through security to get to the l medical wing to get up? Because it won't let me through the main corridor. Mm. Well, stop that. Yeah, I think we have to go through security. The contest, oh, one of the other games was too good. Oh well, you can't you can't feel sore for losing your back against something which is you know good good, as it were. No, we're not level six. We can't get in there. Oh yeah, this is where I first came across the mod and I was like, uh, yeah, I shouldn't be in here. Like, I can't get through that doorway. Yeah, and stuff started exploding a lot. What the hell was going on? pick up the whole entire fridge and it won't fit through the door. That's good. Not. Oh. You're right, Rune. What's going on? No, I just clicked something and I don't know what's going on now. Sorry, Bits, this is Rune. This is Rune, though. He's also a streamer. He's also a friend of mine. Yeah, there's certainly someone that just keeps Hello, spitting sorry. at me. I almost died there. I think I killed them all. Cool. Uh... Oh, 
well, there's an item there, but I know there was a door which I missed. The back to that door. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, I think Lucifer's face is being floating around the screen at the moment. <laughs> the emoji wall, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Oh yeah, Chappies, don't don't forget don't forget I oh, have yeah, got those new commands now and they also are redeemable buttons. Yes. Jiggle that butt. Jiggle jiggle jiggle. Where the hell are we now? Okay. Offices, is there more? We want fresh hotcakes. We want fresh hotcakes. No. Mm. Damn you! We don't want coffee, we want tea. Well, there's another um, light switch. You can tell by the lights. Yeah, I know. Oh. I saw that. Nope, no video on here. Oh, I almost missed that. Okay, so let me click on them. This is not the best actual screen to do it on. Let's do Mandor. <laughs> Unicorns and the dollar bills. Ah, uh, yeah, here we are with the other side of the <laughs> security now. But we missed something. I need to work on Anne's sound. I've got plans for one for Lucifer. Also, I need to do you want one rune as well. Oh. <laughs> okay, uh, first, let's go do this. P6 is what the Bureau calls Dylan. His cell's been breached. Has the Hiss found him? Are you there with him? Can you protect him? At times. <laughs> oh! Once we became aware of it, it was there. For the rest of the population, it was hiding in plain sight. A, a slippery blind spot, seemingly discouraging observation. It's uh, a place of power, an ongoing AWE of its own. 
seemingly adhering to its physical outer constraints and yet constantly breaking the known boundaries of reality. It's, it's unstable, shifting. Note, for more details on control points and the research and process to stabilize and secure the core sectors, refer to a separate presentation. After extensive research and investigation, the Bureau made the building its headquarters on November 13th, 1968. The Federal Bureau of Control was never out in the open. This, this was always an obfuscated, classified top secret operation. So imagine our surprise when the building's observation and resistant aspects began in some unquantifiable way to affect the Bureau as a whole. A little bit of history on the old house. Yeah, nothing down there. Yeah, so basically the old house is using what is known as an SEP. Uh, sorry. <laughs> it is actually called an SEP. It's called a somebody else's problem. I know uh, it's confusing. Um, it's a field which... SEP. Mm, literally distracts, is, stops somebody from actually realising that there's something there to see. It's a thing from the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Douglas Adams. Also been used uh, uh, in uh, Doctor Who as well uh, for the uh, the American Diner, which uh, Clara Oswald and that lot take off in. I won't say who else did because it might be spoilers for what, some people. What is supposed people. to be a, like a thing that makes you not think that there's anything there? Yes. Yeah. It's also God dang speaking... it, Kenny. Oh, God dang it, Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> also, technically speaking, what the TARDIS uses as well uh, to make you think it looks like a Victorian police box. Mm. But that's actually a circuit, a chameleon circuit. Oh, but that's where we came from. Okay, that's cool. Was there anything this way? We did get, yeah, but that's where the video presentation is. So, okay, time for the rule of three again, everybody. One. Two. Three. We're that was back. creepy, that dude's face. That's Dylan. That's your brother. My brother? Jesse's brother. Okay. <laughs> Which puzzle are we doing today, then? Let's have a look. One. Two. Three. Oh, it's a, is it a matching one, is it? Turn that round? Or is we just straightening up? quick I didn't even look in room two red oh my days hmm what's red did I miss something Lucifer I wrote a whole thing and all that acknowledged was red I've been having that quite a lot recently actually um, I would write a whole entire sentence, then put in the text for a love heart, uh, normal, you know, uh, pointing arrow number three, and the only thing which will register is the love heart. It's, it, yeah, it's not just you. It's not just you, mate. No, it's not. Okay. okay. Looks like we're going to a threshold. Two. Three. Yes, we're at a threshold. This is an actual threshold. Ah. Nice. Oop. Better go this way. 
this way. It's been a long time since Dylan and I knew each other. I've wondered about him, what kind of man he'd grow up to be, or things as hard for him as they were for me. Maybe in here, they were even harder. That screen was me dying as Alan Wake over and over again the other day. Yes, I bet, mate. Speak with. Oh! This dude! This dude has a, a, a really strange relationship with Dr. Darling. Hello, boys. How you doing? Is there something I can help you with? I'm Jesse, the new director. I need to get inside. New director? Right. Uh, well, okay. Hello, I'm Frederick Langston, the Panopticon supervisor. It's not the best time for a tour. We have hiss everywhere, numerous cell breaches, and system failures across mm -hmm. the board, but you're the director, so here we go. Founded by Zachariah Trench, the Panopticon is our state-of-the-art repository for all altered I items. I don't have time for this. Power and I was told Dylan Faden was kept here. Can you help me find him? Faden? Uh, sure. Darling wanted him somewhere secure and isolated away from people. He's in the maximum security cells, upper level. But there's currently a, uh, a pressing matter, ma'am. We've got an object of power loose in there. And yeah, we do. It's wrecking the place. The Benikoff mm. TV? It's a, it's a real doozy. Salvador took a team in to handle it, but no one's heard from them for hours. This is a Category 5 OOP we're talking about, and if we don't contain it soon, it will tear the Panopticon apart. And we don't want all those altered items getting loose, ma'am. No, trust me. Dylan's in there. <laughs> Dylan's fine. Open the door, Langston. I'll handle it. <laughs> if you say so. Uh, I usually tell first-timers not to touch anything, so... Uh, just do that. Here, I'll get yep. the door for you. And please, ma'am, call me Fred. Yes, Fred. Thanks, Langston. <laughs> Some of what? the security cameras aren't working. How do I get those fixed? Staff will repair any damage systems once normal operations have resumed, sir. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Apparently he wants a tour. Is the TV back in its box yet? No rush or anything. It's just, you know, an ongoing concern. Okay, okay, here we go. Do you like working We do it now, we FBC? won't have to do it later. Sure. I mean, yeah, the drama's a bit much, but I get better benefits here than I would over at the Postal Service. I checked. Better health care. That's not to say I don't like my job, ma'am. Been here over 15 years. No one knows the Panopticon collection better than me. I'm, uh, close to them, in a way. I can't tell if that's creepy or normal here. Both. <laughs> How do you keep the altered items under control? It depends on the item. Each one has different needs. Ritualistic touches go a long way. Singing to them. Did he say singing? Flipping the lights three times, that sort of thing. It's not superstition if it works. True. It's also not paranoia if they are out to get you. <laughs> <laughs> objects of power versus altered items. What's the difference between objects of power and altered items? Think of them like storms. Objects of power are like tropical cyclones or hurricanes for the uneducated. They're big, rare, and scary. Of course, directors can just bind the OOP and become the eye of the storm. Altered items are more like weird thunderstorms. Some may rain frogs, some may rain corn, but they all rain something. And how does the hiss factor into all that? It's changing them, making them aggressive. Now they're all raining, I don't know, knives. Knife rain. Nice metaphor. <laughs> Did you work closely with Trench? Oh, he spent most of his time with Darling and all them, the inner circle. Not that I care. Trench certainly had his favorites. He did stop in occasionally to scowl and smoke. Did you know the Bureau has a no-smoking policy? Yep. It does. 
just not for Trench. Still, he is the one who put aside funding for the Panopticon. The man did have vision. There's also these cigarette vending machines about the place if you haven't seen. Vending machine, hint, hint, Lucifer. <laughs> uh, there we go. How did you get this job? Started as a junior agent because my uncle knew a guy. From there, I got put on a desk until an accident left the containment sector severely understaffed. At which point, I got bumped up to management. Put in a steady eight hours a day for another 10 years, and voila, supervisor. I just picked up a gun. <laughs> or a gun picked me. There we go. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here, like always. Here we go. The Panopticon. Dolan's close. But that object of power might wreck this place before I find him. Fire break. Engine. Archives. Again, there's another secret uh, object of power here as well. But I haven't got float, so I can't get up there. We must get float soon. We must. Hmm. It does seem to be holding you back a lot that you didn't have it. Switch to switch shot. Somebody shot their own. Whoa! It's a good thing I've um literally just. Quick save there. Also, we're coming up to the turntable as well, I believe. Uh, let me study the map in a second. Once I get a few blue orbies. Thank you, needed that. No, we are in the fire break. Okay, yep, the turntable's over there. That's a, a, another place where we'll find another altered item. Uh, which, which way did they want us to go? They literally... They are not saying. Let's run around the... E look, it's the mailbox. We can't actually access most of these. <sighs> Picnic basket, by the looks of it. Yeah. Oh, the fan. Yeah, we got info on the fan, didn't we? We picked up info on the fan. Uh, case file. There it is. Sup fan supplement. Supplementary material. Extracted from formal in... Oh, God, this is going... Let's start. Zoom in. It's too small. <laughs> Uh, the notion of fan death has now become widely known in the region since foreign investigators redacted met with the local journalist to explain how electronic fans operate at speeds that may suffocate users by overlaying disturbing uh, overly disturbing the air as our agency is still young we must take care to avoid missteps any explanation given to the public must provide sufficient yet vague, rational, uh, uh, vague, rational that will refer rationale, to, rationale, which will refer, reaffirm, re reaffirm their uh, that certainty, certainty that our ours is a stable, controlled world. We must tread carefully, especially in the. In 
intersingly technological world with the radio and other in Inno innovations. innovations allowing information to travel at the speed uh, previously undetermined of the uh, of this is of this of undetermined of what okay this is precisely why uh, we I'm jumped. In... <laughs> I jumped off oh and jumped off okay this is precisely why we insist our department handle the communication with public bodies with all due respect William S. Powers, Head of the Department of Public Knowledge and the Derivations. The Derivations. Is that what this fan actually does then? Does it actually suffocate the air around you? Apparently so. I mean, we don't get every detail on absolutely every item which is in the game. There's like uh, hints and it asks you to refer to other file case files which don't actually exist in the game. A certain hammer. No. Oh. Yeah. Hey, I hammer. What that is. Yeah. Well, uh, in Alan Wake, there is a group of rock bands known as the Old Gods of Asgard. Uh. Run back this way. Yes, the Old Gods of Asgard are a very nice band. Very fun band. Apparently we can't go that way. Uh, we can't go through there either. Okay, so we've got to take the elevator. Or we could take the stairs down first? I don't know. Uh, where's the outer gate? I really got to turn that to a toggle. There are stairs down. back and then we'll uh, go up the elevator or down the elevator whatever the case may be yeah basically they won't let me into Dylan until I fix the TV <laughs> Archives and fire break. We are in the fire break. Uh, no, we're not in the fire break. Something went wrong with the Bureau's plan to make Dylan the next director. Sorry, I just keep yawning. Marshall made it sound like it was all Dylan's fault, but how much of it was what the Bureau did to him? I don't think she's telling me everything. Of course she's not telling you everything. Spell check. I thought that was the love. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing in there, as far as we can tell. Still appropriate, just about half an hour too late. <gasps> no! Is this the refrigerator? This is the refrigerator. I don't oh want dear. to. Yeah. 
Okay, uh, let's take a photo to start off with. Um, Can you save him? You, I'm, I can't, I, well, yeah, come on now, everybody knows, no, you can't, you can't save him. Mm -hmm. You can deal with the refrigerator. Did I really click that again? <laughs> I can't try to put love in the chat. You can, yeah. Got to, okay. Okay, what I'm trying to oh, do. Oh, there we go. I'm such a boomer. You're not a boomer. You're... And when it comes to technology. You're Generation X, I believe, aren't you? I have no idea. It's supposed to be a millennial, but I don't know shit all about this stuff. <laughs> there we go. No! Right, I haven't had, haven't had it. I have not had anything to eat. I'm not. Not eating. there. Right. And screenshot. There we go. Y and B. There you go. Okay, here we go. What are you doing in there? I could have sworn this was a different containment so. cell. Someone has to watch this object at all times or it deviates. My shipper blazer never showed up. Can you help me? Damn. I can't. I'm sorry. There's an emergency. I'll come back. I promise. Okay. Okay. Just don't forget. I can't stare at this thing much longer. Let's do it. TV can wait. Okay, it's not letting me. I have to go. After Dylan has been found. Yeah, you have to find him first. Damn you. <laughs> Sorry, Lisa. I, I don't even I don't actually know anything about this fridge. I just know that it's bad. <clears throat> the only thing I can I'm picturing at the moment is just something comes out of it if you don't if it's not observed. I don't think they can be hit with telekinetically thrown objects. Yeah. Uh, oh, pardon me. That was rude. I surmise I'm going to have to go downstairs to check if there is any stuff down there. Downstairs now, they're going to check for items. Thank you. No, okay. 
I know, Polaris. I know, I know. Ah, both sides are cut off. Okay, that's fine. Here we go. That's the object of power. I need to cleanse it. I apologize to all ladies and gentlemen who currently are suffering with vertigo. Is it a TV? Yes, it's a television. It's an old-fashioned television. The old-fashioned stuff is always the creepiest. <laughs> if she didn't slowly walk into it, then she could have grabbed it before it did the alien Alan Wake on her. Yes, totally. Totally, mate. Uh, apparently my camera needs an update. Uh, remind me later. Very Destiny 2. And Destiny 1. We definitely gotta get flipping float from here. They're gonna not, they're not horrible yet, okay? What I gotta do is stop killing these low level ones and putting Oh I totally need to speed up the shooting on that one. those blue orbs that's the reason why i was trying to get to the stairs <sighs> yeah new boss new mechanics that's is that's what it's like every time to be honest every boss has every boss has its own new mechanics Annoying, but it works. It's what keeps the game interesting. I am going the right way, right? Please tell me I'm going the right way. Wait. Uh. Okay. Oh, okay. It is the right way. The Twisted Passage. What a name, eh?
gives me some uh, European Vex vibes. Slight bit of nine in there as well. Nine? Uh, you know, uh, Zerg. Power of oh, nine. Yeah. All Only these floating so red dudes, definitely pyramid nightmare stuff. Oh no! Even though this game, I think, came out before all of that, so... I was too concentrating on trying to t take out the dudes on the sky, I shouldn't have been. Hint slash tip is say check out your personal ones. Okay. No. And evade energy cost. Shield energy, no. Energy boost. Shield I don't... I don't use shield that much. I seriously don't. Uh, and I don't use seizure that much either. Okay. Did I pick up any ability cards? No, I've only got one. That's where you make your own mods. Bit of a gamble. Shan't do that start doing that just yet. Yeah, I know. But also you gotta take out the non-combatants. Because otherwise they might become the combatants. <laughs> I'm an evil bitch sometimes. It's just a shame you have to run this far every time you die. Yeah, I know. Might have to dash about to get more distance. I don't know if it costs anything. Dash costs energy, yeah. Uh, sorry, evade costs energy, yes. Doesn't help with that red aura. It makes everything hard to see. Those fucking rockets. Mm. Oh, check this controls. Um Yeah, well, no, we want that, but <coughs> we want to have it as a toggleable piece. That's probably in gameplay, yeah. Toggle shield. 
Purple lawn. Oh, that's sprint mode. Toggle on. Or do I want it toggle one off? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. She. I'm assuming toggle on means that it, uh, you just toggle it. Okay. Holding down the joystick, trying to sprint is annoying. Hmm. It's not like a button. <laughs> the joystick is supposed to be tapped, it's not supposed to be held down. No. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to start using... learning to use this shield properly. But it just takes so long for it to, you know, hold up and put down again. Uh, Dash, why is my evade working? You're out of energy. Uh, no, I wasn't. Why? Why is this so delayed? I have no idea. I have no idea why that's so delayed. Get off that! Get off of that! Charging for ages! Charge already! That thing was Salvador, the head of security. His team didn't stand a chance against the Hiss. No one here does. Fuck. <laughs> nice. I hate this charge gun. It is a piece okay. of shit. The TV. Another object of power going nuts. Not charge, I mean... Here we go again. Yeah, no, here we go again. Deleting flipping things so I can pick up something new. Yeah, this, um... Piercer gun. It is so dreadful. To charge up. Okay, we're gonna delete that. Let's get rid of level ones and twos. 
doesn't even seem to have a clear indication of when it actually is charged up. There is a flash and a sound effect it makes when it is finished charging up. Either I've got to get some sort of mob which will actually cause it to charge quicker. Or I'm going to have to just abandon it and concentrate on leveling up other weapons. Hmm. Right. With how high mobility you're supposed to be, it's not very practical to stand around charging it. Especially when you can't actually use your shield whilst you're using a gun. Mm. Here's the board! <laughs> Levitate! Yes! Yes! Okay. Use Levitate to complete the Astral Train Challenge. Plane Challenge. This is what we've been wanting. This is what we've been needing. Excellent. Okay. It's hold A to Levitate. There we go. Oh no, one of those mind thingies. <sighs> yeah, there is a limit on how long you can be in the air. I thought I'd better check that before we actually go up. At least you don't actually just straight up draw. Some strange reason they called it a brain uh, fracture or spasm, wasn't it? Um, uh, where was it? Uh, collections, media, the astral. Was this it? An early hypothesis. Yeah, astral spike. An early hypothesis was that the mindscape of the astral plane is subjective. But that was fast proven wrong. It's an actual place, not, not a construct of the mind, even though it is with our minds that we enter and experience it. But then one could argue that that's the case with all reality. We've been able to record footage of the astral plane by monitoring the brain activity of those experiencing it. That is the only concrete material that has come out of the astral plane expeditions. Uh, apart from one shocking yeah, the exception. one expe the exception. In the astral plane footage, we're always in the vicinity of the pyramid. We've concluded. I that wish this, I could fast forward, but you can't. Not the entire it, plane sorry. is what the board controls. <laughs> we have glimpsed movement, native species, always in the distance, and yet contact was made. We don't have footage of this, a technical malfunction, but when one there of our is. astral knots returned, a brain cloud, an astral fume, had hitchhiked cloud. a ride in his head. Astral fume. It ruptured out, killing the subject in question. It's a relentless predator, pursuing thoughts, minds, lethal to those the entity feeds on. Proper containment protocols are to be observed when dealing with it. So it's a weird little wobbly orb thing that possesses people? It can, uh, I wouldn't say possess, but get into people like a parasite would. Yeah, and like a La latching would. into them. Yeah. Uh, while falling, to slow fall. Safe. Oops! I wasn't above the platform yet. <laughs> oh dear. That's the first time I've actually died in one of those. I mean, you recognise this type of thing from Warframe, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Mastery missions, they're called in Warframe. Damn, that's the best of all played. <laughs> Damn, yes. They have got a good, very good clip of me actually playing very well. Okay, that was not a for, for slow fall, in my opinion. Yeah. 
I'm assuming if you went near that thing, it would instantly kill you. Yeah, well, it probably wouldn't instantly, but it certainly will kill me. Uh, I had to avoid one in this kind of like weird sound. Uh, the actual one which was featured in that video, in fact. You actually have to avoid it, avoid it right near the game. Well, falling. Interesting that it's a live creature. Apparently, it is a native creature. But that's why. And these weird statue concept things. I literally just have to get up there. I don't have to engage with any of these. Set up, thank you. Oh, whoa! There you go. Oh, okay. Dealt with the TV. Now I can find Dylan. Raising force. And as the bureau just said, the hiss are interrupting their broadcasts. That's weird. <laughs> so now we can do a hell of a lot more with the game. Yeah. Bye, we finally go back and do. Sorry, Karen. You can finally now go back and do the mold slash clock missions. Yeah, knew they were coming. I was charging! Why weren't you charging? That's the other problem. It ha you can only hold it for so long. Hmm. Allow me to do what I want with my character. As me and Moon Lo constantly say all the time, I'm in charge of my character. I control it. You don't. Mm. It's annoying. <sighs> like to see if there's anything up here. Is there, any, uh, is there any unlockable cosmetics oh. you can get to change the outfit of this character? Yes, you can, but as you've said, you have to unlock them. Paper lamp uh. supplement. Okay. Up. Oh, here we go. Post box. If you go over here. No. Just abstract art. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't see anything, any prompts over there. Okay, cool.
I did not like that. No, no, no. Okay, so we have to get our map out. <coughs> Dylan is behind us. So let's go to Dylan first. Oi! That's not what I said. Oh no! Lucifer! Uh oh. It's the swan boat. The swan! Swan! We can't actually get into it and interact with it though. It is the swan. <sighs> oh yeah, oh yeah. What do we have here? Oh, uh, an item. What does that one do? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that? Oh, it's a it's balloon. Like a little... Get well, balloon. And one of them's deflated. That's interesting. All, uh, without spoiling anything, let's just say uh, majority of these things are lethal. Yeah. There you go. Just leave it at that. Uh, oh, the water cooler. Okay. Except for the rubber ducky. The rubber ducky's okay. The rubber ducky's okay. All these, all the rubber ducky's mm. ever done is follow a girl. Crowbar. Follow a girl. Um, yeah. Dylan. He's so close. Does her brother have powers? Yes, kind of. She was only really given powers because of Polaris though, right? Yes. Polaris gave her the powers. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, I'll be with you shortly. Let me get this first. Jesse. Uh, where is the... Uh, yes, pardon you, Daddy. You are rude. <laughs> are you there, Jesse? Emily? He's gone. Dylan isn't here. He might be nearby. Or maybe the hiss got to him. I don't know. Jesse, listen. Dylan's here. With us. He just walked in. He says he is giving himself up. He's been affected by the hiss, but, but he is different than the others. We must isolate him. I'm on my way. We need to get back. I have to see my brother. Face of the enemy. We don't have level 6 yet. I... I believe that we will be getting level 6 soon. Mm. So I'm trying to see if there's anything to pick up in here. Obviously. <laughs> Oh, that's one of those uh, temporary alert thingies. You have a certain amount of time to actually go and do something. And I'm like, I don't literally have time for that. Plus, they're usually so far away, by the time you get there, you don't have enough time to actually take care of it. You know what I mean? No, it looks <clears> like there isn't anything to take. Nothing in here either? No, okay. There will be! I bet you there will be. At one point, there will be. It'll probably be to do with that level 6 door. Yeah. Oh! 
won't take up too much of your time today, darling. And like I said, I want to talk about Jessie, your sister. What about her? I just want to get your perspective. What do you think of her? What kind of person is she? That sort of thing. I adored my sister. When I was little, I mean, back in ordinary. And you don't anymore? <sighs> when I first got here, sure. I'd always hoped she'd come too. Find me, to take me home. We went everywhere together. Why should this be any different? Casper said she could come too, to the Bureau, if she wanted to. But she never did. Why do you think that is? <laughs> because she didn't care about me. It's because she, she didn't know. She always wanted to be out on her own, seeing the world. She always said so. I guess she got what she wanted. Great. So, she wanted to see the world. Did she ever mention any place in particular? Why? We like to ask questions around here, you know that. Any particular cities, towns, landmarks, anything like that? Fishing? I don't remember. What about family friends? Were you close with anyone living outside of Ordinary? I'm done with this. Tell Casper I want pizza for lunch today. Dylan, wait, we're not... End of session. <sighs> Very much sounded like a teenager there. Mm. Anything else? No. Okay. It looked like there was something which I could pick. Yeah. There we go. Dylan Faden's observations. Uh, breakfast is brought, gets out of bed, uses toilet, returns to bed. Ask for television to be turned on, staff do so. Lunch is brought, breakfast is removed, eats lunch, uses toilet. Be begins talking to herself, recording speech is not possible due to the noise from television. Becomes upset, throws lunch at tray, uh, lunch tray at glass. Uh, sedated, crew cleans, cell television is turned off. Comes to ask for television to be turned on, sta staff refuse. Sleeps, question mark. Television privileges were refused due to hostile behaviour. Can you pull the bars off with your power? Um, not to or know. throw something into them? Yeah. Must be a door. Oh, it's the level 6 door. Well, we can't get into there. So. Let's go to the other side of the uh, bridge and see what SCPs are on the other side of the bridge, shall we? SCP. See, I'm already calling them SCPs. SCPs. They're not SCPs. <laughs> Ow. Wrong franchise. Well, did I miss it? Yes, I did because it's not actually lined up with the doorways on this side. And I, I need to go one up for the secret passageway, I believe. Isn't it, Lucifer? Yeah, I believe it's one up. Do not ask me how to get up there, though. Not E. Not ah, sure. No, neither am I. I'm not sure either. Maybe she could try to skirt. There we go. <laughs> it can't go in there. 
that's all locked off. Okay. It's not that way. Now we know. Whoops. <laughs> Yay for float. Aye. It's definitely very useful. <laughs> That. You're not going to get here, but it keeps you busy. Oh, there's one of those orbies. Oh, sod you. I was trying to aim a piece of rock at that bloody orb. We do need to get some higher level personal mods. This game looks really hard. <laughs> it can be. <coughs> oh, sorry. Uh, where did we come out in the end? Ah, here. Yeah. There's an orb about shielding them, but I don't know where it is. It's underneath. Totally, gotta be underneath. Shit, sorry. I'll be back in a bit. No, yeah, you're fine. You carry on, mate. Okay. Uh, Ruby. Okay. to do was go up one level. went in there, it turned out to be a dead end, so we can't go in there. There's the swan. <laughs> the 
yet. There is supposed to be a secret way up. I die. Don't know how. From here, it looks like the doors are open. But they're not. So I don't know how. Hmm. Make it over there. No, we definitely haven't been here this way before. Uh, I know where fiction ends and reality begins. Here, they're all the same. It's a hideous trap, my every thought made real. Fear, desire. How can I ever know for sure I've escaped and not just lost in my own fantasy? That thought alone can drive me insane. went here. Really went here. Oh dear. Uh, where was it? Media? Music. America overnight. Only the multimedia where it on there it is. There's the oldest house. We did just pick up a case file. Now we are looking for the typewriter. There it is. Typewriter page. That's the page. We don't actually have the typewriter. It's a containment procedure. No unique procedure required. Descriptional altered effect. The, de, sorry, descriptional altered effect. A standard letter sized typewritten page with minor water damage. The page is full of text, but par apart from the top seven lines all the rest have been violently scratched out only a few individual words phrases can be made out the page emits a dim glow in the dark uh, when the text is read there is a feeling of disorientation as if witnessing the page being written as you read it and as if re reality around you was being redacted to match the words on the page. This feeling is made stronger if the text is redacted. 
Uh, forensic and logistic analysis confirms that the text has been written by Alan Wake with the same typewriter as the earlier materials discovered in Bright Falls in 2010. See, br see Bright Falls AWE case file for information. There we go, chappies. Oh, room wasn't here. Room wasn't here to see the Alan Wake clip. Oh. oh. Help. I was tough. The Firmusk. Hey, Firmusk. There is more to the Alan Wake stuff than just that, though. It's no. found that bit. Um, there is more to find. We still need to go up though. That leads us to this side door. Nothing there. That leads us to the birthday blue. I can't get in there. Oh, I can! No! Whoa! Can I just float all the way down? Let's give it a try, shall we? For science! Oh! Doesn't work yet. Oh, it does. There weren't no cables there. Oh. Altered item units and fire break. That's all it takes us to, is the altered items. We're already on the top floor. We're already in the altered item section, because here's the control point. I'm gonna have to do some uh, research on that, I think. Because watching me just flail around the place. 
Oh, I have ability points. Um, although quite funny when I die. Not very good. Oh, good, good, good. Look, 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 look. Yeah, there we go. Increased dur uh, levitation duration. Yes, please. There we go. We have four points left. Levitation takes two points. Yeah, we'll take that. Excellent. Career development. Unlock all three personal. We have all three unlocked now. Cool. And we shall. That takes three. That takes two. We might as well take that. There we go. Okay. Okay, so we want to do that. So we've unlocked the third personal slot. Good. Uh, what should we have in there? Obviously something level 5. Um, shield strength. Energy boost by 20%. That is the only real 5 we've got at the moment. So we'll do that. Yeah, there we go. Anything better than that? Damage after kills and damage with low health. Mm. Okay. Let's fast travel to the executive suite. No, we are not worried about any of those temporary missions. Okay. There we go. Okay, before we go and do this, I've got to go and pick up some snacks and get myself another cup of tea going. I'm going to stick us on the B right back and do a few shout outs if that's all right with everybody. Okay. Okay, okay, cool. <laughs> What did you do? What did you do? I it... Cat, what are you doing? What? What is that though? <laughs> it's like that Cardi B meme. What is that? What is that? Oh my God, what is that? Oh, I'm supposed to be dealing with the troll. Are they? Did you duck? Did you kill it? Already? Can I sing? No, I, I, can I sing? Did I say can I sing? <laughs> <laughs> can I shoot? I don't know. Are you <laughs> I don't know if I'm at the right. <laughs> oh, hang on. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is not going well. <laughs> okay, I definitely need more caffeine in my day. Before I stream, where are you? Am I? I'm, I'm just I'm in the outside, wrong base, yeah. am I? No, yeah, you, you are right but base. I can't even I see the troll. I'm outside. No, you can't because it's outside in the forest. I was going to get some loops and there. there oh, there. yeah, you did say. Sorry. <laughs> oh, my no, I have seriously. You don't know. Right, you need to look up that piece of. Increases critical damage on blighted rounds by 30%. Yeah. Cryo turret. Every turret shot deals extra two damage. Ow! We want this. Crit damage on blighted rounds. Extra 30%. Yes, please. We're going to do the uh, Chang mission until we get to five, and then we're going to farm that cap. Hidey ho. Nice. Oh, that's the point. I've not been checking this, have I? I bet. Fuck me! A 
Okay, that got me. That got me. That one got me. I am not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, that one got me. I will hold my hands up. That one got me. Gracias. I don't think I could take Project Diapa alone. I agree. I'm saying I was wrong. But you were right. If you want to go on a cheese run, holla at me. Is that a distress signal? Okay, so? I didn't think you were with the agency anymore. Help me with this. Go here. Go here and get naked for everybody. We won! Woo! Woo! Oh, that was a really yeah, good no! game. I was doing GG's. good. Yeah. That was really good. All right. Good job, guys. I gotta go eat. Oh, I love that skin. Thank you so much, Baby Piggy and um, Hel Helena. We got it! Holy shit! Let's go! There we go, I'm back. I'm gonna find you, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you, get you, get you, get you, what way? Oh no, 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 I'm gonna find you, I'm gonna get you, get you, get you, get you! I'm back, Chappies! Oh, I'll just do that quest instead. I like that, I like those quests. Let's go in there. Kenny? Is Kenny here? Is Kenny here? It's with the fist. Yeah. Is Kenny here? I haven't seen Kenny for ages. Sorry I'm the way for that bit of truck. Um, uh... Him. Where do you go? Behind you, this way. Oh my god. Mm. Nice one. Woo! God, sorry dude, I fucking suck. I didn't get oh, man. God. Oh my god, that was intense. That was that was camping. Campers. Pog lock, everybody. I do, I think he knows he can't really do anything at Pog Lock. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid of a structure. <laughs> <laughs> is this still in the game? He's just running off! <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> I did too many shout outs again, didn't I? Sorry, people, I get a bit burnt sometimes. <gasps> it says here the client is fragile herself. Careful, the contents are fragile. Oh my god. <laughs>
That makes sense. Okay. <laughs> Switch to the okay. game screen. Just in case, I just leave them a little gift. There you go. Now this position is safe. Yeah, it should be. Yep. All right. Choosing a guitar now. I'm gonna catch my breath soon. Usually they come right running through this bit. Yes, there's the first one. Come to daddy, come back forward. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. <laughs> Schau mal, was der Onkel. Storm the floor in dark, so. Ooh, 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 do you wiggle? Mm, do you wiggle down? Mm. Ah, dun, 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 Ooh, we're getting down on the floor. We might go down the hole. It's really exciting. Do -do 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 -do. That's great. Oh, this guy. <laughs> I, I love it. It looks like like an actual. No, what? What did I do? <laughs> oh, there you go, Sven. No. There you go. <laughs> that was it. That was not very glorious, but. There you go. You know what? We're gonna deal with it right now. This will probably end in disaster. But all I care is getting rid of those goddamn auto cannons. Right. They can't hit you if you start spinning like a, like, like a lunatic. Do a barrel roll! Report to the hangar area. That was. Was not <laughs> yeah, I should have. I should have not. I don't think it was a good idea to come in to the hangar upside down. <laughs> no, necessarily not. Not at all. There we go. Okay. So we've got to have a little chat with Emily here. From the HRAs is purely antithetical to every variant of the history oh. I can arrange. But how did Darling create it? Speech analysis. Logistics ability. And internal impressions. Oh, more over here. Timeline of events. Ooh. Double check, double check. Anything else? Anything else? No, okay. <coughs> it's happening. After all these years, Dylan is here. <sighs> but am I too late? How is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the hiss, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems more in control, more present. I want to see him. My brother? Or is he? Of course. Now, Marshall set up an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor, up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. Jesse? Be careful. Mm-hmm. Totally. Speak to Dylan. Bye for now. They're endangering us by bringing a hiss in. Yeah, so I got myself some pretzel sticks and I got myself some uh, a, a banana. Um, yeah, apparently he's on the upper level. Here. Yeah. Did you see that hiss they marched through here? Why the fuck didn't we put a bullet in that thing's head? 
I heard it's the director's brother. Would you shoot your brother? That's no one's brother anymore. He's the enemy, plain and simple. Oh dear. Uh, no, this is the main corridor to the director's office. Yeah. Oh. Tech Bureau funding. That's the reason why we really should visit old places. Marshal orders us to just sit on our asses and then leaves? What's the deal? Apparently the director restored HRA production. They're already getting other survivors out of Sea House. Where is Dylan gone? Yeah, we know he's in Central Executive. He's on the upper level. Yes, we know this. We are on the upper level. But... Where on the upper level? Executive Affairs, that's not right. Marshall abandons us. I'm sick of no one telling us what's going on. Information's always been on a need to know basis. Hey, up. You talkable? No. All Polaris is pointing to is the checkpoint. <coughs> ah, here he is. You are a worm through time. The thunder is home to the stolen sea. Happiness comes. White pearls, but yellow and red in the eye. Through all mirror inverted is made red. Leave your inside the right door. Push the thing through the surface into the wet. You've always been in here. You've fought this to be true. We stand around you while you train. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. Through time, the thunder's home distorts you. Happiness comes. White pearls, but yellow and red in the eye. Through a mirror, the inverted is made right. You are a worm through time. Shit. The thunder's home distorts you. That's Dylan. White pearls, can you hear me? Oh, come on, my Dylan. I'm here. I found you. Do you know who I am? Oh, you know me. Say it. You are Dylan Faden's sister. He's talking in the third person. Always a good sign. Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. Push the fingers through the surface into the wet. You've always been the new you. You want this Can you to stop be that? true? Please. <sighs> Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. Don't you want to say them too? No. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to you. help me. You! You came in through the hole in you! We let you in! You've always been here! The only truth! A copy of a copy of a copy of a copy! Stop it! Orange peel! Shit! Shit! He can see you. This is not safe. We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small. In ordinary. In the desert. 
through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trench took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. And she didn't help when they locked me up for years. After the song time for a while, we build you till nothing remains. The air cracks and the truth will march out of you. You are home. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it. And they found... They opened the door up to the hiss. That's the only thing I can thank them for. There. There it is. We stopped the Altered World event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. I'm in your worms of tune, you can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, baby, baby. Just plastic. So steady. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Funny. I welcomed the hiss. I let it in. To get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. You are a puppet. So are you. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut off the slide projector, maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. No, it's not. Go to the prime candidate program in the containment sector. I have the key card to get you there. Salvador wanted me to have it. Wanted? Bullshit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for this light projector. You can help me. We can end this. You are a worm through time. You are a worm through time. There you go, now you know. Let's talk to him again. I don't know what else I'm hoping to find here. Dylan. Can we talk? I'd like to tell you about a dream I had last night. Off to a good start. Okay. I'm listening. I was back in Ordinary, before all of this happened. But in the dream, I was alone. It was just me. I was the only child. A girl. My name was Jesse Dylan Faden. But then the Bureau came and caught me, brought me back here, locked me up. Have you ever noticed that our names, Jesse, Dylan, they could be girls' names, boys' names, could be anything. Don't you find that weird? I find that weird. Sure. What the hell was that? No. Is he trying to mess with me? You are a worm through time. The thunder's hum distorts you. Happiness comes. White pearls get yellow and red in the eye. Through a mirror, the inverted is made right. Leave your inside blank door. Okay, everybody, we just had a drop. You've always been here. You've always been here. I have no idea why we just had a drop. But everybody, claim your drops if you can. Yeah, no, strange. 
home. You really like this as a home. You've taken your boss with your boss with you. All hair must be hanging under the conceptual. Okay, let's connect that account. Reality. You must want these waves to drag you away after this time for applause. Cliche is death out of time. Breaking the first, the second, the third, the fourth. Okay, the fourth floor. No, floor. You fall. How do you stay insane? How does to be happy? And you're one of those dream you just can't stop coming in your dream. Baby, 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 you're just plastic. So say nothing to worry about. Oh, honey, the last two Okay, let's try this. You, you can't even let you enter the hole in you. You have always been there. The only child. A copy of a copy of a copy. Orange peel. The picture is you. You want to listen, you want to dream, you want to smile, you want to hurt, you don't want to feel. I you don't know what my password for this is. The thunderous hole distorts you, happiness comes, white pearls, but yellow and red in the eye. Through uh, all your bleeding mind is made right. Leave your inside light door, push the fingers through the surface into the light. You've always been here, you want this to be true. You stand around you while you dream. Shall I just do this? Words, but you forget, this happens more and more that you we wait in the stains. The word that describes us is redacted. Repeat the word, the name of the sound. Your no. resonance in your house. Oh, after the song, time for a pause. We build each other's mouth. We raise the egg cracks and the truth will emerge. But you, you are home. You remind us of home. I don't think I have my password for that actually saved. Under the conceptual reality uh -huh. behind this reality, you must want these waves to drag you away after the song. Time for a pause. Cliche is death out of time. Breaking the first, the second, the third, the fourth. Okay, the fourth floor. No, floor. You fall. How do you stay insane? How does to be happy? And you're one of those dream you just can't stop. Oh, Dream, baby. Sign in. Baby, you're just plastic. So say nothing to worry about. Don't show me again. Yeah. Okay. How the hell do I get out of this now? <laughs> ah, man dog. I just refresh my chat. Where is that music coming from? Not there. Not there. It's coming from my desktop. With. How you doing, man dog? You back from work, are you? Okay, it's not coming from Intro Fighter, not coming from Google, and it's not coming from. Hello. Hello there, Bruno. You right? Uh, yeah, I just took a shower. Ah. Felt like I had to. Are you trying to find out the source of that music? Yes. <laughs> I've got no Apple application open and Streamlabs at the moment. You just got home, Mandoff. Where is that coming from? That's not Pixel. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, that sorted it. I don't know how, but that sorted it. Sorry, everybody, technical issues. I don't have a bingo card, but yeah, we got we ended up getting a drop. 
Uh, I am signed up to drops, but usually you only get drops when they're actually um, anchored towards the game in which you're playing. Um, there are no drops for this, so I don't know what's going on there. Um, sorry, just opening my uh, desktop manager again. There we go, sorted. And I closed down Pretzel 100% and it's, we were still getting music, so it was confusing. Anyway, we just bumped into Dylan. And, oh, nice. Uh, yeah. He spouted a load of nonsense how it's saying how the fact that the Viora is using us, Polaris is using us, the Hiss are the only one who can set us free, how the fact that uh, they also, the Viora also took this sky projector and he's telling us to actually go on a mission to... Um, there it is. Uh, Jesse goes back to Central Executive to reunite with her brother. Dylan, changed by the hiss, tells Jesse to go to the Prime Candidate Program in the containment sector to discover the ugly truth about the Bureau. We already know the, yeah, the Bureau is ugly. Uh, Jesse agrees, but in truth, she plans to go there to look for the Sly Projector, the object of power Dylan uh, revealed to be in the the course, uh, which is the uh, revealed to be the cause of the hiss invasion. There you go. Oh, the a projector is the cause of the invasion. Yeah. Oh dear. I don't know. I don't know. I think it was a glitch. Because as I said, there isn't supposed to be any drops for this Lucifer. It's funny the type of music it was too. <laughs> It was for witch it's very hunt. Random. The drop was for witch hunt, which has nothing to do with this, as far as I know. <laughs> so yeah. Maybe Dylan's still in there. Maybe there's a way to reach him. I'd like to talk to my brother, please. Dylan. Dylan would like to tell you about a dream he had Could just be. now. This again? I was going to be the new director of this place. I helped you get a job here so that we could be together. You were an office assistant. You'd make coffee and deliver the mail. And there was always plenty of work to do. And it stayed that way forever and ever. It was nice. Really nice. That's debatable. But here's the strange thing. The dream shifted. And none of it was real anymore. It was a game. We were in a game. Mm -mm. And it was a fucking boring game. Mm -mm 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 but you couldn't stop playing. And then it shifted again. Or, or maybe it was another dream already. Or, or maybe I'm just confusing them. But in this other dream, it was more like a musical. Them. This is an ordinary song about an ordinary <laughs> girl from an ordinary town. It's the ordinary story. She worked an ordinary job in an ordinary office. Something, 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 something. And that's all I can remember of that dream. Maybe that's for the best. Yes, Mandog, what's an ordinary man? You are a worm through time. <laughs> They're just going to ask us to keep talking to him over and over again until we go down to the candidate program, so. Uh, where was the candidate program again? Uh, do, 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 do. Containment sector. There we go. Also, Rune Low, I'm sorry to say we found one of the um, Alan Wake Easter eggs. Oh, I, saw, I did see that. Oh, good. 
Good, 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 good. I was worried. I was. Did you hear that this prisoner they captured was the director's brother? Uh, no, we didn't bring him here. He came up here with his own volition. Uh, containment sector. Uh, yep, the nearest note to it is logistics. Here we go. Okay, which reminds me, shout out to Mandog. There we go. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I'm about to die anyway. Heal! You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be fucking kidding me, you ass. You gotta be fucking me in the asshole! Okay. <clears throat> I didn't clip that one. Fuck it. Okay, I got this. <laughs> nope, that wasn't me. Yes, I clip your rants, but only the funny ones. <laughs> oh, God. Implying that that one wasn't funny. No. It wasn't funny. <laughs> okay, up and to the right. Okay. It was I think like the funniness of France. Mm. Uh, Carry on. I, I think the funniness of rants pertains to how much you can relate to it. <sighs> ah, Laris wants us up there. Okay. Did we manage to get all the gates here unlocked? If not, we're going to have to go around the houses. Yeah, we're going to have to go around the houses. Damn it. Through the medical wing again. We have level six now. Yes. Good, 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 everybody. We have level six. What's in here? Mark Gibson, male, age 28, returned from the astral plane approximately 13 minutes ago. This was his 21st dive. Patient is experiencing migraine like pain. Intense pressure behind the eyes and partial blindness. He has no recollection of his time in the astral plane and appears severely disoriented. Preliminary examination revealed no immediate cause, so we will be sending patient for X-rays and. What the fuck is that thing? Oh. Get Marshall. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's when the brain thingy came out of him. That thing yeah. that you asked, what the fuck is that? Mm-hmm. That was that. I didn't even think he would be able to scream from that. I feel, I feel, I feel like it would have been such a violent eruption that he wouldn't even live for even a second. Well, it did come from his brain. It didn't come from his lungs. Sorry. I mean, if it, I mean, if it came from his brain, that's even less reason for him to be able to react. Unless the screaming noise was the actual entity. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, God's sakes. Yay, that's what
we are. Yes. Security. Excellent. Oh, what the fuck? Check these offices already for um, what to call it, kids. I I haven't found them yet. I haven't threshold kids. Here's Polaris. We must remember we've got to go back to that other area. Oh, back to that other area to get to that level six door. Did you walk past that? I'm going to have Refrigerator oh. Man sting. The mission. Yes, I'm Refrigerator Man, yeah. It's one of those unfortunate instances of uh, he lives for as long as it takes for you to try and help him. <laughs> I mean, I could go out. <laughs> Gameplay wise. To save his life, you need to just not. <laughs> but you see, it's getting to the point now where these side missions are becoming impossible because I don't have enough uh, power slash levels slash what you call it to actually do them. Mm. So I do need to do some of the main story like to be able to get that stuff to. I mean, we've got fly now, but I'm still... I need to level up these guns. Totally. Okay. Oops. Sorry. Just doing something. There we go. <laughs> P6 and P7. Mm -hmm. Oh no, look at that. It hurts the head. There it is. Damn you. The ball's still about the place then. Oh, one of those rock fellas. Not the rock feathers. Damn it. There we go. That should help. Somewhere. Where are you? Oh, there you are. You, <laughs> you know, all these enemies seem to be screaming. In some way, yes.
Wobbly space. Timey wimey wibbly wobbly. Frightful supplement. Oh. Not exactly vent space. Jesse is still standing in awkward angle. Mm -hmm. I just like that I mentioned something like this earlier and then it happens. <laughs> Seven, there you go. P6. Should I go downstairs and check out? Yes, I got a. Yep, there we go. There's a shelter down there. They like to scream. I have no idea why Jesse ever called them the hiss. Is that her name for it? Yes, that's her name for it. She, the first one she told the, uh, about calling them the hiss was Emily, and Emily just turned around. As good name as any. I still don't know why she called them the hiss. <laughs> no idea. They didn't even make a hissing noise, as far as I know. the shortcut open now. Uh, closed cases. Ooh. P6 and P7. Okay. Let's just stick our head in closed cases first. I can see you're upset, Meg. Why don't you tell Uncle Mr. Bones what's wrong? I did bad on my clairvoyance test. You can't ace every test, Meg. You see, everyone has different brains. Some brains can talk to each other. We call this ESP. ESP? <laughs> Some brains can lift objects like a baseball. Talk about a fly ball, eh, Meg? <laughs> no interruptions! So who cares if you fail your clairvoyance test? Maybe your brain can throw baseballs, or talk to dead people, or make friends blind. Once we know what your brains can do, we'll know what job to give you. And if your brains are just right, you'll get to sit in the big chair. <laughs> Ba 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 ba. Sorry. What if I don't want the big chair? <laughs> what if I? 
I wonder what her subject is. <laughs> Yeah, That's Meg. Why we're all here. God. Use those brains to listen for once, or the only chair you'll get in is the one with straps. My brain power is that I can see the past, but only my own past. Good power. But yeah, sorry for all those uh, non-English friends of mine. Um, I did the theme music to Masterminds, which is a quiz show in Europe, in England. <laughs> That's the reason why uh, Relo responded with, I wonder what her subject's going to be. I wish things had gone differently in Ordinary for us. Oh. But wishing won't change things. Ordinary. Finding the projector will. So much coming together in this one case. A new object of power, something we have not seen before. I mean, coming from me, that's that's saying something. And the boy, Dylan Faden, prime candidate six. And the sister as well, well once we catch up with her. But the, the boy, so much potential. We're talking Northmore level readings here. And, and I don't want to invoke his name, but it's completely different circumstances here. was an incident. Yes. We lost a valuable member of our team, yes. Excessive force. Dylan has so much. He's just a kid. Like, I'll take the blame. He, he, he needs some slack. I mean, boys will be boys. He's exceptional and under a lot of stress. Roberts got killed. It's an unfortunate accident, that's all. Marshall needs to realize this. We will make this work. We'll make this work. It's at that point when the arguments between uh, the good doctor and the director started. Dylan Faden's transcript. P6 victim autopsy? Oh. Yeah, um, Dylan killed somebody, basically, whilst they were testing his powers. Okay. Is this what Dylan wanted me to see? It doesn't matter. We need to find that projector. Basically, the Bureau has been flying, uh, following Jesse for quite some time. P7. Oh, the outfit! I got an outfit! Nice! Nice! Yeah, look, there she is. She's got a job as a janitor. Oh, let's, let's get my um camera out. Okay. Where's the UI? Yep. She was getting mud, working as a janitor, stealing stuff to stay alive, having a date, which didn't work out if I remember rightly. That is ordinary, the actual town in which they live in. That's where she was last seen in the library, apparently. That is photoshopped. Look at that. Jesse oh, way too dear. focused there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
eating lunch and that burrito looks totally fake yeah no that that whole thing is photoshop her head is way too big god do better and that's photoshopped as well i can't blame them this would you know this was a while ago this was a while ago I can get that off. There we go. All the times I felt paranoid, I was right. The Bureau could have given me the answers, but they just stood by and watched me. Of course they did. They are doing a nature versus nurture test. which of you would be best somebody who'd been in contact with the world and somebody who hadn't movement tracking okay here we go we used to play there all the time me and dylan and other kids as well we loved it this time i remember was different we found a way in deeper into it like it had shifted we went inside and that's where we found the spy projector a dump is a place for lost things things that have been thrown away did you ever feel that way when you were growing up jesse what? No. Yes, but that has nothing to do with... Was there a slide projector at your home when you were small? Mm. No. Those were before your time, I suppose. But your family did look at photos together, maybe. In one form or the other? Maybe. Hmm. When was this? Can you remember? At parties? Barbecues? How did it make you feel? Did your You're parents reaching. push your picture that embarrassed you? Was alcohol ever involved at these parties? Mm -hmm. Did your parents drink? Did that make you uncomfortable? No. That's just stupid. Come on. That has nothing to do with this. Nothing. The slide projector, let me ask you this. As a child, did you ever fantasize about worlds inside pictures? Inside a painting? You know. Stepping into a painting, into a hidden world, escaping and finding adventure there, away from your parents. I don't... I... I don't think so. I don't remember. Maybe. I don't know. Bad psychologist! Bad! That's a very manipulative one. <laughs> Anything over here? No. And no. Okay. Okay. Why? I studied what happened in ordinary here. That's the place to start looking. So we got the transit corridor, the turntable, the ordinary AWE, and the prime candidate program. We just passed the prime candidate. Hello, trappers! Yes, Mandor said they couldn't take real photos. I was like, yeah, no, of course they couldn't. 
Just checking over here to see if there's anything to pick up. No. I'll be back in a second again. Okay, do not worry. And that's the transit corridor. Oh. No, it's the shining when the blood comes out of the elevator. Thank you very much. <laughs> Willow AWE shipping manifest. We will have to go through these one one of these days and meet me just read all of these out. We will. Dylan and I were both prime candidates. Experiments. Very different one, sure, but both in a cell of some sort. Am I out of the cell now, or is all this, the house and being the director, just another cell? Well, technically speaking, Who's really in charge here? I really would say that you are further down the rabbit hole, love. Most definitely. Thank you very much for the follow. Nobody gets hurt. Thank you. It's much appreciated. It certainly is. It certainly is. Okay. Oh dear. We are. Yep. Yeah, we are in. Yeah. We're at the beginning of the turntable tracks. Just doing control because um, my friend of the channel Lucifer's Angel is currently playing Alan Wake for Spook Tabor. So I'm doing control. There we go. A little bit of fun. Okay, we have to do control point before we come back then. Okay. Yeah, I'm coming, Polaris. I'm coming. <gasps> We're going back home. We are. It started there and it's never gone away. Lucifer, I just remembered the trolley cart. Oh, fungus. Do I? Don't I? I'm not really of a level yet. Not really. Yeah, I just remembered the disco trolley cart. 
Yeah, I don't think I'm nowhere near ready to do that. If I remember rightly, there is some places to jump up on the sides here. Of the turntable, I mean. Not actually this corridor. Um, to go to another... What is it? Is it a, uh, AWE or... Uh, sorry, AWP or... A very nice mod. We'll find out. Oh dear, those buggers down in the bottom. So I can do a whole... There you go. Yeah, go on. You go fiddle with that fella down there. Let's just see how this goes. be a way to rotate these tracks. Oh, there Maybe be. there's a control panel nearby. There's gotta be a way to rotate these tracks. Yes, Jesse, calm down. Maybe there's a control panel nearby. Here we are. Up, 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 up. Oh, my. More fungus. Aha. Uh -huh. Work chat teeth. Well, at least we've got the door open now. We already destroyed the uh, fungus block in the rails, so that should just turn. Maybe in a bit. I might tell the map in a bit. Might. Oh. What the hell is that? Why would they put a picture like that here? 
Let's Weirdos. You've been obsessed with the lore of this game for the last few months. You? You have... Didn't you watch... Nice. Nice. Uh oh. No. Oh, he is up there. Okay. Oh, shit. Part of my language. Sorry, everybody. Uh, you. Uh... Hmm. I've only ever come across one of those stone angels before. Emphasis on the stone angel. There was a... See, there is a... Why? What is on the other side there? There is something there through the wall. That is weird. I thought I spotted that earlier. Oh! Just got an Uber rapping with mods. Prime. I did get a Prime mod. Nice. Do I really want it there? A few prime mods, but not many of them are like four or five ish. I need that. <laughs> I'm always needing that. <laughs> boost or energy boost let's do the energy boost there we go all primed nice okay um kills boost am i cost whilst levitating i keep forgetting you can shoot whilst you're levitated <laughs> oh please tell me what's something to reduce the uh, pulse time please I hate you. Oh well. Get on then. Let's get on! Bloody keyboard. Yes, I know. 
This game just brings vibes of X Files uh, intermediate uh, interdimensional sh science film noir and horror so perfectly together. Just uh, astonished how credible the universe they created is. Yes, no, it is. Okay, like saying that they've been working on it a while. They have. You do know that this is the same universe as the Alan Wake series, yes? Ah, here we go. Put your shield up, put your shield up! Damn! He's too strong. He just busts through my damn flipping shield so quickly. I'm just gonna see if I can just evade out the way, just evade past him. The main problem is, is that I'm getting, the camera is getting pushed up against myself, so I can't actually see him. Literally just go straight ahead. Oh, that's the history. Where is he? But apparently he's just against he's he's not there. We, I totally need to, I need to stop using this, um, fusion rifle, as the Destiny 2 players would call it. Yeah. Stop using this. In fact, take that off. There we go. Stop using this, and maybe spin gun. Maybe shatter. I'm gonna go with shatter. Damage after kills, no, no good. Uh, projectiles fired. What should projectiles spread? That might be a good one. Yeah, let's go with projectile spreads. And do I have enough materials to do an upgrade? Let's have a look. Yes, I do. That's an absolute. Okay. Oops. Damage. I might as well go for it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, oh, yeah, we're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing good. 
Let's try this again. I need a sit <laughs> True that. True that. Is that dude causing explosions down there? I think he is. Shut up! We're trying to think! It's so Somebody must be up there having a fight with him. That doesn't sound like explosions now. That actually sounds like gunshots. Enemies fighting each other. <laughs> yeah. Oi, keep the noise down, mate. We can ignore them. This is the dude we have to concentrate on. Oh, except for... Okay. For a moment there, we had an enemy marker. We suggested that somebody followed us down here. I've been playing this game with invincibility on... Uh, dying almost free feels like a barrier to flow of the whole story from the beginning to end. Yes, no, true. 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 Okay, here we go. Here it is. Uh, which gun am I on? I think I'm on that one. We'll start with that one. Got my shield up. Throw him out. Nice. Scab was the way to go, Trappies. Excellent. Oh. Learning. Wait. Anything on the other sides? Nope. Okay. Double check down here. We already took that one out in one of our four attempts that failed. <laughs> no. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll have some potato chips and a chocolate bar and a pack of cigarettes, please. I don't like that sound. Is that another fuzzy brain fuzz, as I like to call them? Bloody helicopter. One on the other side, okay. There's also an elevator here as well. Okay. Oh, one there as well. Aha. Backing up. I hear a siren going off. Uh, where is that other power cell? Slash circuit breaker as I keep calling them. <laughs> no? Okay. 
Let's try in here. It is in here, but first let's get this. Nice. Come on, through. Thank you. Look at that big fud, and then all you hear is ding. <laughs> we can dance if we want to. We can leave our love behind. And if you want to dance, you don't do it. Dance in it. Named enemy. Science officer, apparently. There's those blue orbies. I need those blue orbies, please. Switch to normal. Executive hand. Executive grip. Okay, the executive grip is not as strong as we want it to be. Okay. Oh no, really? Pause. We switch out that executive grip for the piercer. Get a mod back on there. Oh. Zoom. Hey Lucifer! Yeah, I know you got darts tonight, don't you? Pointy objects. No, you're fine. Makes us change for somebody else to have spell check problems or keyboard problems other than me, mate. Do not worry. Cheers. Chin chin. Saying that, let's give Lucifer a shout out. A proper Twitch shout out, that is. Not a Streamlabs shout out. Although we can give her a Streamlabs one as well. Don't worry, we are getting on. I have been playing for a while now. In fact, we've been playing for almost five hours now. Yeah, you do good. Remember, if you can't hit the bo uh, boards, then hit the opposition. Don't make me fight something down here. Please. Thank you. That's cool. That's cool. I just really want to get to the next flipping. There we go. Uh, checkpoint. Because as uh, Reno pointed out earlier, it is annoying running from checkpoint uh, from a checkpoint which is very far away after you die. But I'm not sure when the next checkpoint is. what we needed. We need to take care of him. He was the tough one. There we go. 
Apparently there is more. Oh yeah, him. Something, something department officer or something. Deputy staff officer and... Writing's too small. But whoever he was, he was a dipshit because he never dropped me anything. <laughs> Exclusion order. Tell him tea lady. Yes. <laughs> true that. True that. That's oh, true though. It's true though. It's true though. Absolutely true though. Uh, nothing in here. Okay, that was disappointing. Oh, we just want another checkpoint. Oh, sounds like something really serious up front. No. Okay, not going in through that way. Aha, uh -huh. here's the gate control. There we go. Ordinary AWE. No. Oh. Listening to America overnight, celebrating 29 years, shining a light in the shadows. Thank you for staying with us. Here's our first caller. Uh, what I'm about to tell you, if they found out, I don't know what would happen. If who found out, brother? The men in the suits. They told me it was an industrial accident. This is something else. Something nobody talks about. Ordinary. This certainly doesn't sound very ordinary, caller. No, not ordinary. Ordinary. It's a town. And it wasn't an industrial accident. I mean, that's what they said. But that's bullshit. Whoa, please watch the language, caller. It may be 2 a.m., but we're still a family show. I, I'm sorry. It's just my brother was there. They said the town was destroyed, but... It wasn't. I went there. The people are gone, but the town's there. It's still there. So the population of an entire town disappears, yet the town remains. Tell me, was the phrase, there is no salvation written anywhere? I'm... I'm not sure. The <laughs> same thing happened in Brazil in 23. Exactly. A village called For Verde. More than 600 people just up and left. The government said they were fleeing guerrilla forces. But we know the truth. A mass abduction. As predicted by my regular guest, Dr. Quincy Wilbur. Abduction? You mean aliens? That's bullshit! I know they're lying! Now I warned you about the language, caller. I'm afraid we're gonna have to cut you off. And good timing, too. It's time for a short break. Hang in there. America Overnight will be right back. Some people have a theory that the fact that the America Overnight is actually part of the bureau ordinary ceremony okay oh there is a curious correlation with the yet unknowable forces intruding upon our world in the form of altered world events these forces gravitate toward archetypal objects a gun a, a television a supposedly haunted house so Clearly, humanity affects this process. Our collective unconscious is a, a map of sorts. We hold the key, but we don't know how to use it. We create these archetypes through everyday life, popular culture, urban legends, but we are observing and influencing a complicated system in action. We can change the likelihood of something being a receptacle for these forces just by thinking about it. Mm -hmm. But we haven't found a method to control the outcome. And yet, there's something unique in us, in our dreams, in the conceptual reality with power, with our minds. What's the cause 
And what's the effect? Are we the starting point or just a necessary evil in this? A byproduct, a reflection, a projection. <laughs> we'll struggle to find the answers to these hard questions or die trying. Watch out. Yeah, poor Dr. Darling. There you go. Just let me at the next control point, please. of Dylan Fagan, formerly P6, performed by Dr. Carl Levon. The questions asked here correspond to the fifth iteration of the Gunner's psychological assessment. Are you ready, Dylan? Let's begin then. In a single word, describe the world around you. Where's Casper? Dr. Darling is out of the building today. He's never out. He didn't want to come, did he? He never visits, not since Robert. To tell Darling it wasn't my fault. I couldn't control it yet, but I can now. I learned. Will you tell him? In a single word, describe the world around you. A prison. A cold, Stop making empty so much noise. prison. Not even a poster on the wall. Mm -hmm. What is the next number in the sequence 3, 6, 9, 12, 15? 18. What day is it today? How the hell would I know? It's not like you'd give me a calendar. <laughs> you find a rabbit in the woods. It is breathing, but not moving. You cannot see any blood. What do you do? Leave it. Expand on that. It doesn't matter. The rabbit's not real. None of it's real. What day is it today? Do you enjoy asking people questions that can't be answered? Is, is this what gets you up in the morning? What you dreamed of doing as a scared, stupid little girl? Can you describe a dog to me? In ordinary, we had a friend. Nosebleed Neil. And when it all went crazy, you know what I mean. Nosebleed Neil turned into a dog. Or something like a dog. What day is it tomorrow? Fuck off! I don't know! There is no calendar! How can I fucking know? Dylan, calm down. Fuck you! Fuck you and fuck Casper! Hey, hey! Uh, are you watching this, you old fuck? Did you send your bitch because you're too scared of me? Where is Casper? Security, get a team in here. I need... Hmm. <laughs> yep. Ordinary stage two. Uh, Jesse, stop getting stuck on the cardboard boxes, thank you. Checkpoints. Hey, Casper. Yeah. Dr. Darling. Oh, no. I wanted to X, thank you. We have no ability points, but do we have... No, we don't. We don't. We need way more bits. Um, let's go into mods. Uh, we can get rid of that. Get rid let's get rid of the twos and the ones. Oh, I got rid of a three there. Oh dear. Spots. Uh, get rid of the bunk. Okay. Well, there we go. And no, 
Yep, still not enough. Oh well. Ah, dear. Okay, well. As I said, we have been going for five hours and eight minutes. It is now time to go and uh, raid Anne, I say. Yes, I do say. <laughs> I want to thank everybody for coming. I uh, want to... Oh, I'm on the wrong bloody... There we go. I want to thank uh, Nobody Gets Hurt for joining us today, for following, and having a nice little chat. I hope they enjoyed what they liked, uh, uh, what they saw. Um, yeah. Uh, and uh, Hero Goes Killing... Uh, Her Hero Goes Killing uh, joined us about five days ago. <laughs> that's all right don't you worry man dog I'm, I'm just happy to be here to be honest okay let's do the command uh r a space um a n n i s p r oops i put too many there 85 isn't it yes i believe so there we go. So, raid has been created. Good job, everybody. Okay, so I shall see you all tomorrow for more control. I don't know whether or not Rune will be joining us. It's, all, it's up to him. Um, he's obviously still away having dinner. So, um, I'm going to stick us on the end screen, do a few shout outs, and we shall join you in and stream, okay? See you all there. Bye, -zy bye. <laughs>Okay, he's a hugger. I like some grilled cheese. Family serving a grilled cheese. Bless me! Bless me! This calls fire. Whistling went very well. Oh. How are you? Um, it's a fire. Oh, Gimli's there as well. Hello, Gimli. Um, um, 